Alec, welcome. Yes. Welcome. This is a special uh, occasion for Tarkron here. Yeah, I got this uh, big cardboard box as a guest. Hello. Say hi. <laughs> yeah. You're going to well, be going away uh, soon. Last year, you'll recall that, that my it's brother... My brother gave us a ton of Tarkron cards to open, and that was a lot of fun. I, I that was great. Here. I still have them. They're up. They're up over. I, they're up out of reach currently. I have a couple. I, I have. I put them all in a book, though. That's what I needed to have done. I, I have. I have that set aside, but I. I just haven't made the time to. I haven't gone and gotten uh, sleeves for them yet. So. So like, if you didn't see that video, check that out. Uh, it, it, it was, was a lot was, of fun. It was basically a trip down memory lane of going through a bunch of Tarkaron references in like Yu-Gi-Oh card form. And, uh, you know, my brother is like the Tarkaron Santa Claus, I guess. He's he's come again. He's come again to, to give us, us with some sort of gift. Present us with gifts, yeah. Um, and look, look, this is this hat was for my brother. This lanyard, this Tarkaron lanyard was for my brother. It's really really hooking us up here all right so we're gonna see what comes of it all right yeah you might as well open that thing up okay as well, i told you, I, I told alex in you advance already have your, yeah I have you already have here. your matching okay so yeah i told i told alec beforehand that like he's got this huge package here but we're not opening all of it now there's gonna be some stuff we'll be opening in a future video as well but we're gonna sort it out yeah so there's there's stuff you get to look forward to even that oh okay so that's for my well, brother. He gave me the same thing. Okay. And I got that here. It says, Happy Holidays, Zach and Alec. I hope you enjoy this gift. Be sure not to open this envelope until last. You guys are killing it. Keep up the hard work. But also be sure to leave yourself time to breathe as well. All the best, Bill Archer. Okay, so you leave that to last. He's uh, he's very right. We do need some room to breathe. Uh, we're actually going to be making some, probably some scheduling alterations with the channel. We haven't really... This is like our first video of the new year, so we took a little bit of a break for the holidays, um, and we're gonna get back to it. Um, mm -hmm. We're probably gonna for probably our own like. like, our own sanity, like we're gonna our own we're sanity. gonna be recording five times a week now. Yeah, five. We're gonna be recording. <laughs> we're gonna be recording every single night. Um, every we're gonna night, yeah, we're gonna do six two times videos, the content. Two videos every night. Yeah, that's okay. So okay, here's okay. a two Alec. This, this one, this, this, okay, this, this, this one that says this one is freaking on it. awesome. It's got the it's yes. we have Tarkaron gift wrap now. Tarkaron like what is this? Paper, yes. What is this? <laughs> Find our Etsy. Oh, here's number one. Here's number one. Yeah, number one. So you, let's the Alec number one. That's number one. Oh, hey, look. I, there's something on the back too already. Okay, so I attached those to them. Those were actually from. He had given me an addition to like after he gave us the first oh. cards, he gave me those. Oh, okay. He gave you like a, like a booster pack. Yeah, they're like a, a couple add-ons. I think I showed you at some point, but you um, did. But like I, t I completely, I, I honestly, I completely forgot about it. So we have a full. He gave me a couple fall cards. Guy token. I wasn't gonna just send two cards in the mail. So I, fall guy token. There he is. Now. Yay! All right. So should I open? Uh, should I open? That's one. Hold on. That's one. Right, this what's, is one. What's the other one? There's there? one, there's two, and then there's just two Alec, and it's blank. One, there's no number two. or anything on it. Alec. It feels like... It, oh, I'm not going to shake it, because I don't know, but it feels... <laughs> this one's very light. This one's a little a little, a little more solid feeling, and then this one's he heavy. I think there's three other ones you'll be opening today. The, in there, you, okay. you'll see then there's, there's like a long a, one. There's a paper one, too. And there's a paper there's one. It's like a paper... There's a paper one. There's a long one on the side, right? There's a long one on the side, yeah. So those ones will be for the gift exchange. Okay, so the long one on the side and the paper one are for the gift exchange? Yeah. Okay, so, so we'll, we'll leave those for later. Let's have you open the one that doesn't have a number on it yet, because that one okay. was, was just for you that my brother saw it, and he, he said you would like that. So. Oh, that's uh, that's that awesome. Thank you. Okay. All right, well, let me... All right, well, open that. Thank you. I feel... I feel it's like Christmas all over again. It's great. <laughs> Oh, these are wrapped pretty well. I can't wrap like this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he, knows me, he knows me so well. Because <laughs> yeah. I like freaking it's, baby. It's Khan baby from Khan Ryan baby. The Last Dragon. Yeah, you know, my, my ally the in the, famous, uh, the, alliance the famous Tarkon alliance. All -Stars two. <laughs> two. Yeah. My, my, my ally in my partner in crime. 
and, and he knows that of my love of pop figures i'm sure that he knows from the uh from the figure collection he knows how much i love pop figures so <laughs> that's awesome thank you that's very funny i like that a lot so thank you yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, that's awesome that's going that's going to go right here just so i can always look at it while we're recording so <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's can, awesome you can open number one now because he i opened okay. this during our our christmas it was like his lead oh, okay 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 well here's i'm gonna take i'm gonna get this card this cord this full there's guys actually cord. there's some in there there's like two or three cards stacked in there oh oh snap crackle pop we get a couple of uh, Fall Guys tokens because yeah. we talked about there were a thing referenced in, in the Fall Guys cards. Doo, and then there's doo. one other one. I think one yeah, other. so we got Fall Guy token, Fall Guy token, oh, Raylo. <laughs> it's a Raylo card. You, this is the one you showed me, I remember. Yeah. And you were like, yeah. Because <laughs> we were talking, I, talk I remember us when we were opening up the cards, we were like, is there, there's got to yeah. be a Raylo one, right? And then it right. wasn't. So he's like, oh, yeah. let me add that in there. <laughs> that's great okay wait these are these are wrapped very well yeah and okay. like, the material is like stronger than regular wrapping paper so it is kind of a pain to wrap with but okay so i can only assume this <laughs> is going to mean there's more there's yes. more where this came from this is his way of showing us that Instead of two decks that he gave us last time, he gave us four decks this time. <laughs> he gave us four. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. That's, that other video took so long. <laughs> how, is this gonna, how is that gonna even be possible? So, uh, so I have a friend, my friend Dubs, who should be watching this uh, mm -hmm. because uh, I'm gonna yeah. tell him. I'm gonna tell him about it. Uh, but he needs to watch this uh, because he's like, he he's like a hardcore. He's got like, getting super into Yu-Gi-Oh again. Um, and he and one of the other guys like we play D D with, like they will they they have been like going through like like Yu-Gi-Oh history and like playing through like different they've been playing like through different like releases in chronological order and like building cards onto each other. Because Yu-Gi-Oh is like is a weird game where apparently you can still play with cards that had been released like back towards the beginning. Like the the, the, the there's a massive you can use any card throughout the whole thing. Of course, the ban list is for like tournaments and stuff is like huge mm -hmm. um, as a result. But um, yeah, they don't they don't power out cards like Pokemon or like Magic does. It's like no, you can still use cards that released back in like two thousand three or whatever uh -huh. the game started started releasing. So okay, well, so he yeah, so he's gonna need to watch this to tell, and tell us like how to how to build the best decks, you know. All right, so now we're opening the same one. Here we are. I don't know how it's presented. He said it'd be a little different, like so. I don't know if it's in booster packs this time, but okay. Uh, so we'll have to play it by ear when we get in there. I guess so. Oh, oh it's in a box. So it's a ho 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 box for me. Ho 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 box. I gotta. I gotta look like snowman. Ho oh, ho. My Merry mom, Christmas, my mom. ho. <laughs> my, <laughs> oh, Merry Christmas, ho. Ho ho. Oh, Merry ho Christmas. Merry Christmas, ho. ho. <laughs> you owe. I, uh, I, should, I, way, I think, but I'll take it. I mean, way. I might, I might keep this box. But my mom actually really, really likes snowmen a lot, so I might get this to her. If you'd like that. This is a nice box in general. This is a really nice box. This is, it's so nice. I can't even open it. I opened it nice and easy. There's tapes. Yeah, there's tapes. Oh, there's tapes. That's why I'm not opening it. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. my goodness. Oh, oh my damn. Oh, okay. oh my goodness. We going ham. Okay, so they are. Ooh. Are they all in, still in packs? Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> so it's it says Tark Round Edition Two Dual Cards. Yeah, Tark Round Edition Two Dual Cards. They're just in different oh, things. They're just in different sort of. I mean, it, I mean, honestly, it looks like this is about the same amount of cards we got last time, like from what I remember. But that's what it feels like, doesn't it? But it does, it's deceptive. But... It is, I guess it's deceptive. There's like gotta be double the amount in here somehow. Yeah. There's a... <laughs> <laughs> so we'll do what we did last time. We'll take turns opening them, and then okay, we'll see. Good. We'll show off which ones are, are new right. this time. Okay. All right. I'm gonna open the first one. Yeah, you go first. I've been opening a lot of stuff, so. <laughs> this is Thank gonna you. be this a is, journey. This is, this is gonna be. I, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Much like much like last year, it was very fun. What? So. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. This is a bow staff and baseball bat. 
What? It's from our discussing our zombie apocalypse survival plan video. A boost. <laughs> wow, that's <laughs> these, a, that's a these, these right must there. be the weapons we chose when yeah, we were talking like, about I, it. I think I, I think I picked a bow staff. I think I'm going to show you to this camera because either way they'll see it, but and then you'll see it later. It says. Equip this card to one or two warrior or beast warrior monsters on your side of the field. All monsters equipped with this card gain 400 attack. This card is sent to the graveyard whenever all monsters with this card equipped are no longer on the field. Nice. It's Estella, which is the, the Cruella's alter ego. Oh, right. Estella. <clears throat> Mental warrior. When this card is sent to the graveyard, you may special summon one Cruella monster from your hand or deck <laughs> to the field. If you summon from your deck, your deck is then shuffled. Nice. That's well, the thing. Half of our reviews that we've done on the channel were this year, so we're just gonna. Have, so we have ways, to, so much stuff to pull from. I'm guessing he like took something from literally every video we did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <This> <laughs> many cards. Okay, Epic Lloyd is Thor. That's the uh, epic rap battle of history. Zeus nice, versus nice. Thor. Looks like he might made of uh since we didn't do reactions, he probably took like the, the main one. Like mm. I put this in the thumbnail the for season mm. four. Mm -hmm. This Norse god matched bolt to bolt and bar against bar in a super solid rap battle in season four of Epic Rap Battles of History. It was it was a great rap. He's a battle. silly warrior. Yeah, silly Whoa. silly little warrior. This card is green. It's Merlin. From Shrek the Third. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it green? Why is it green? Yeah, so that thing's special. green. Oh, are these, is this like a special Shrek color, maybe? maybe Shrek there's a bunch color of Shrek card. cards. That's what I was going to say. Is there Shrek cards? Is this it a Shrek be. deck? Look, it oh says, my gosh. If look, we have a whole Shrek deck, that would be amazing. Maybe. Maybe. Because look, it says, where it usually says TQN, it yeah. says SHK. 12. Oh, oh my so gosh. Be Shrek's involved. We got a Shrek, a Shrek A deck. former magic teacher at Worcestershire Academy. He retired after an incident of third level fatigue. Spellcaster. That movie, though. Oh, what is this? Did he draw this himself? <laughs> yeah! Whoa. No, this is accidental what? axe murder. It's appeared in Zach Reads His Spooky Stories. Oh my gosh. Wait, did he really draw it? One from my story where the, I, uh, I think he drew this. Wow. That's amazing. That's legit. That's great. Or <laughs> the, the serial <Yeah>. killer <laughs> killed, killed the little girl with an axe in my story. That's great. Oh boy, I can't, I can't wait till next year when I read my... When I read my <laughs> Zelda fan fiction and then have some of that crap shows up. Activate this card when your opponent declares an attack. Pick up all monsters in the field except for the attacking monster and shuffle them in your hands. Your opponent chooses one card at random. That monster is now the target of the declared attack. Return all monsters to the same location and position as they were when you activated this card. Proceed with the damage calculation. Nice. Elizabeth. <laughs> like, Elizabeth? Bioshock? From Bioshock. This is, appears in Gents Challenge 2021. Who played who that? Played who played Bioshock Infinite? Rusty, maybe? R was Rusty, Rusty or Ryan? Did Ryan? No, Ryan couldn't have. Ryan played I, Persona 5. I think Rusty did. Rusty must have played. No, Rusty did. Yeah, he played it. Uh, that, that was toward the beginning of the year now. <laughs> that was crazy. Once per wow. turn, when your opponent's monster initiates an attack, you may cancel that attack. The monster whose attack was canceled may not attack again for the rest of the battle phase. Wow. Night. Oh, <laughs> Fergus, Farkle, and Felicia. How did, I never knew those the names of those Shrek babies. Really? Fergus, Farkle, and Felicia. Nope. Triplets born to Princess Fiona and Shrek. They are a handful to care for, but thankfully Shrek and Fiona have a lot of friends to lend a hand. Appears in Shrek the Third, Shrek Forever After, reviewing every Shrek short and Box Art Battles Episode 5. Yeah, these are nice, special Shrek colored cards. The Shrek, or as we colloquially call that, Shrek super shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Weird Al Yankovic as Sir Isaac Newton. Okay, oh, sweet. Okay. So he just picked nice. this one randomly, so he might just have a bunch of random ones. Mm. The, the Discoverer of Gravity dropped rhymes like they're falling from an apple tree against children's science TV show host Bill Nye. Here's an Epic Rap Battles of History Season 3 review. And lastly, whoa, Morris from Shang-Chi. That's the 
Oh, yeah. yeah. Give them. <laughs> you may look at the top five cards of either your or your opponent's deck. Return the cards to their deck in the same order. Nice. That was a I watched. Card. I watched the making of Shang Chi uh, on uh, on Christmas. It was very fun. Okay, so yeah, it looked like it was about the same, but there was a lot of cards in that. I just realized. Yeah, there, oh my gosh, there there are a lot of cards in here. Targon Edition Two. Okay, what we got? William B. J. Blazkowicz from Wolfenstein: The New Order. Oh uh, wow! Yeah. yeah, also known as Terror Billy, he fights alongside the Resistance. Uh, against the Nazis, eventually emanates SS Obersch Gruppenführer Wilf Wilhelm Deshead Strasse. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you. <laughs> I didn't right catch William that. Blazkowicz. <laughs> disgusted. He's just so disgusted. Well, what was he disgusted by? Uh, I don't remember. This card remains on the field for three of your turns. When the sphere is face up on the field, all monsters to your side of the field gain. 500 attack when battling with spellcaster type monsters. I, I do remember it was like um, Scout was like singing to him too. Do you, do you remember that? I, I remember, remember. The, I, remember I don't remember. Scene. Yeah. I don't remember what he was pissed off about. <laughs> but I remember the scene because <laughs> she starts singing. It was a very like, he looked like he was ready to like start killing people. <laughs> it <was just> like... <laughs> <laughs> do it. Oh, this was with Pete Dore. <laughs> he's, not, he's not on here. But this uh... was with our Pete Dore episode. I. I forgot that we did something with Pete on this channel. We need to do that again. By the way. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> the but that's the fish, lure, the yeah. fish and lure, the fish and lure <laughs> from from freaking <laughs> Cabela's Cabela. Outdoor. Cabela. These two are the most dynamic facet of the box art for Cabela's Outdoor Adventures <laughs> on the PlayStation Two, and really stole the show. <laughs> um, uh, you gotta check that out if you haven't seen after, Box Art Battles Episode Four. Okay, so uh, so I don't know I don't know how you f I don't know how much you feel how you feel about this, but our representation Shrek. of Shrek is that there's probably is the... there's probably multiple Shrek versions. I Maybe imagine. after a ogre after a community of fairy tale creatures is relocated on his property, it initiates a series of events that changes his life forever. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it might just be Shrek. I think I got you beat. I think I got you mm -hmm. beat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Liberdicio tribe member. Oh, we're gonna go through the tribe members again from Tarkron All Stars. Yeah. Tarkron All Stars. Uh, after the previously eliminated outcast won immunity, she was voted out of the. Ooh, maybe we shouldn't say that. She was uh, a nominee get, for the. We're gonna get spoiled at everything in this. Yeah, video, remember? Oh, okay, that's true. It's true. You do. Things. It's Tarkron history here, so you really need yeah, to, so you have to go to, back and. If you don't want to be spoiled in anything we've ever reviewed <laughs> or to put out, then um, time to turn away. After the previously eliminated Outcast won immunity, she was voted out during the Liberdicio Tribe during a double tribal week. She was also a nominee for the 2020 Blasty Award for Beauty of the Year. She's a, she's a pretty lady. She's a pretty lady. Uh, Katie Chen, this picture of Aquafina, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great. Uh, silly Warrior, when she finds out that her friend Sean is actually Zhu Shang-Chi, son of the real Mandarin, she doesn't hesitate to join him on his journey here's in shang chi in the legend of the ten rings at review at least two Chance. cards from that from shang chi alone and here we go the liberdizio tribe camp tribe camp oh, there it yeah. is increase the attack and defense of all liberdizio tribe member and tarkron host alec monsters by 300 decrease the attack and defense of all amore tribe member monsters by 200 i wonder if there will be more another card of us or if it'll just be based on the same one we did before yeah I I don't know, but here we go. We've we've got we've got freaking kitty soft paws. Yeah, kitty, <laughs> kitty. Sneaky, suave, and alluring. She has earned the moniker soft paws. Your ability to pilfer just about anything without being noticed. Puss in Boots review. Yeah. Kitty soft paws. <laughs> We're boycotting Spider Man. Uh. <laughs> from from freaking from Gaby. Yeah. yeah, all Spider Man monsters, all Spider Man monsters on the field are destroyed and sent to the graveyard. <laughs> 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 That's, That's amazing. a real deep cut for you, uh, all you hardcore Tarkronites. Yeah, because I don't. Because is Gaby maybe our least viewed video ever? I don't know. You say that. But, uh, <laughs> we got plenty of least viewed videos. <laughs> we do. <laughs> I'm sure there's a tie. <laughs> oh, the first thing I see is fish and lure. Okay, cool. <laughs> what in the world? Whoa, it's like a 
it's like a slightly different color green. It's hairball. It's Puss and Boots hacking up a hairball just about. It's an ambush, Gross. continuous ambush card. Name one element. As long as this card remains on the field, the defense of all monsters of the identified element will be decreased by 500. Yeah. Yeah. Here's in Shrek 2. True. Well, there's Shrek. I think I got you beat. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, this is a nice looking card. Ooh. Whoa. Tiny Tina. Appears in oh. E3 2021 Gearbox review. Look at this nice. card, bro. Oh, that's great. Oh, it's a bad I, love, I, love, I love her. She's great. That's awesome. Silly word. Great. Unpredictable and chaotic dungeon master. She's constantly changing the world and characters on the fly. Still looking forward to that game. Still looking forward to that yeah. game. Wonderlands is going to be fun, I think. So, mm-hmm. Starro the Conqueror from <laughs> oh, yeah. the Suicide Squad. Nice. Whenever you destroy an opponent's monster in battle, if you still have space in your monster zone, you may special summon the destroyed monster on your side of the field as Starro Slave. You cannot use any <laughs> Starro Slave monsters as tribute for a monster summon. Okay. Nice. Sam Wilson, Captain America. Ooh, ooh, it is Captain America armor, too. <clears throat> he struggles with the appropriateness of his succession as Captain America until he ultimately decides it is the right thing to do. Appears in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier review. It's a good show. It was a good show. Oh, I liked it. It's the Great Terror from Puss in Boots. It's the freaking... <laughs> oh, goose. yeah, the freaking the goose. <laughs> Once per turn, you may search your deck for a golden goose card and place it in your hand. You must then oh. shuffle your deck. <laughs> yeah. There's a golden goose somewhere in there. There's going to be so many Shrek cards because there's like already been several from Puss in Boots alone. <laughs> uh, Liberdicio <laughs> tribe member Mary Corleone. Ooh. Given the face there we she all is. love. <laughs> the face we all love and, love and enjoy. She is unaware of her family's criminal activities, but she was able to steal the title Soul Survivor in Tarkaron All Stars 2. Un- unbelievable. It appears in Godfather I've... Part 2, Godfather Part 3, and Tarkaron All Stars 2. How did I blow it? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Classic <laughs> choke situation for Alec. <laughs> Spell card Paciencia y Fe. <laughs> from uh... the Heights. What a wonderful song. When this card is activated, nothing happens immediately. Once three turns pass from when this card is activated, increase your life points by 1,500. After this, every turn during your main phase one, increase your life points by 200. Uh Uh-huh. And that's it for that one. Okay. Tear into another another pack here. I like how these cards look. Yeah, I do too. Very cool. Very, very cool. We got some Shrek, like the special Shrek cards. I know. I'm, I'm actually. I'm actually already uh, putting Shrek ones. Uh, oh, hey, the man himself, Chuck Klosterman. Chuck Klosterman, <laughs> <laughs> mental warrior. If it, uh, when this monster is the target of an attack, flip a coin. If heads, the attacking monster is destroyed. If tails, this mon- the mon- this monster is destroyed. Wow. No damage is dealt to either player. Wow. Chuck Klosterman wrote the hypotheticals and superthetical's, which we did. Uh, Series of videos. Yes. For. Yep. Appears in Superthetical series. That was the one we did. That's here. This last a year. Fla- flower. A flower. Flower. Wait. I think probably be oh, from Rusty. Flower. Rusty's game. <laughs> Rusty's. Uh, uh, Rusty's super easy. Game. The it takes two lists gen challenge. As long as this card remains in the field, increase the attack of all fairy type monsters by two hundred. Mm-hmm. Spell card. Cool. Oh, yeah. This movie, you know, this movie was a lot of fun. It's Frank Wolf. Uh, okay. from, uh, this movie was a lot of fun. I, I really Cruise. want to watch it again. Jungle Cruise. I really want to watch it again. I really liked it a lot. It's, it was not, like, great, mm-hmm. but it was fun. It was fun. Um, whenever this monster is destroyed in battle, it is not sent to the graveyard. It is instead shuffled back into your deck. And you can hear him, you can hear them talk about working the shaft or whatever they said, that one zine. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, is this your first time? Yeah, oh, my that. gosh. Oh, my goodness. There he is, Survivor winner, Ethan Zahn. Ethan Zahn? Oh. Oh. Mental so- Warrior, the Survivor Africa champion, returned for a go at the title once again in Survivor All-Stars, but was cut pre-jury after a portrayal by Lex. Interesting, because we had the Survivor winner cards for all the things we did reviews for, so we never had... Mm. Survivor winner card for Ethan, but I guess yeah, since so he appeared in All Stars, he he just gave yep. him one. He gets gets his card. There you go. Ah, yes, the magic mirror. 
Magic Mirror. There he is. Whoa. He's voiced by some guy who sounds like <laughs> he's just an announcer. Look at the top five cards from either yours or your opponent's deck and return them in the same order. Hmm. That's another Shrek card. A vision. I see it. Oh, okay. a vision. Uh, vision. The product of fusing a synthetic body with Tony Stark's AI system, Jarvis, and Infinity Stone. Vision is extremely powerful. Okay. He's a level seven light guy. Uh, he appeared in WandaVision. Wanda Vision review. Um, we did that at the beginning of last year. That's crazy. That was a whole year ago we did that. Yes, yeah, so I guess this is from, like, he stopped taking cars for the last time in, like, October mm. of 2021, so it must be so from pa- then on. Paciense Ife. Prince Charming. Uh, what mother? <laughs> uh, son of the Fairy Godmother. He's spoiled prince who dreams of one day being king of far, far away. These dreams are foiled and Shrek saves Fiona before him. Here's in Shrek 2, Shrek 3rd. Every Shrek short box our battles episode 5. <gasps> Sorry, I just uh, my you know, yeah, heart heart stops when you when you see such a oh, such more a a tribe such a, member such a Rose. Get a such couple a accents person. in there. Yeah. Uh once once per turn, you may increase this monster's attack by any number of your life points until they reach zero and add those points to your life points. These changes in attack are permanent. You may not sacrifice this monster in order to summon another monster on the same turn you use this effect. So she was in Blair Black Pink, Light Up the Sky Review, and Tarker on All Stars 2. Nice. Very cool. Man, these are great. These are great. These are great. Oh, there were a lot of new ones in that. There was only only one similarity. Yeah, right? So, how many cards there <laughs> there's are. so many freaking cards. Oh my goodness. It's it's Frog Lady from The Mandalorian Season 2. Aw. Is she just called Frog, <laughs> Frog Lady? Frog Lady. She hired Din Jaren as an escort to get her to the estuary moon of Trask so that her husband could fertilize their eggs while they were still viable. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's really weak. Attack 300, defense 200. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> an ambush card, it just says the eyes. And it's Puss in Boots doing the eyes. It's, it's got to appear in everything, right? It appears in Shrek yeah. 2, Shrek the 3rd, Shrek Forever After, Puss in Boots, <laughs> and every Shrek short. <laughs> your opponent may not initiate an attack for their next three battle phases or until this card is removed from the field <laughs> there's tons the play. eyes oh you thought we're it that was it for shrek there it is <laughs> we got another shrek that's that's his like the most meme pose i think for him ever too he's like <laughs> there's some worse ones actually i think it's the same description after a community of fairy tale creatures is Re- relocate yeah. onto his property and initiates a series of events that changes his life forever. We we need we need Shrek. We need Shrek for every movie. That's what we need. Yeah, you think there is like every Shrek? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. know. It might be Mongo the Giant. That's a huge gingerbread man from Shrek Two. <laughs> yeah, Mongo. <laughs> when this monster is engaged in battle against the fire element monster, this monster's attack is increased by two hundred and defense is decreased by five hundred. Huh. Wow. There's a lot of Shrek. I need a hero. It was bo- we're boycatting Spider Man. There he is. We're boycatting. <laughs> so great. Survivor winner Amber Burkich. There she is. This monster may not be the target of an attack. Whenever there exists a Survivor Boss and Rob Mariano monster on the field, <laughs> <laughs> so as long as Rob's around, you can't you can't fight Amber. You didn't yeah. go through me first. Yeah, like, uh, you gotta get through me first. <laughs> She's beautiful. <laughs> Liberty Robin Amber. Robin Amber. Member, Hal Pendragon. Hal Pendragon, wow. A wizard reputed to be the thief of young women's hearts. Was once a disciple of Madame Suleiman, the royal court's great wizard. Appears in Hal's Moving Castle and Tarkron All Stars 2. A more age tribe member, Rusty the Redeemed. Ah, yeah, because <laughs> Rusty the Redeemed. What a great, uh, a great wow. name. If you have a Rascal card in your graveyard, you may remove it from play in order to increase your life points by 700. Ooh, that's a good one. Look, wow. He appears need... in so many things. Yeah. He appears in It Takes Two List, Jen's Challenge, Tarkon Cross, Utaka Brothers, Gift Exchange 2, Jen's Challenge 2021, Wolf vs. Bear Review, Taking random BuzzFeed quizzes, Stark Run All Stars 2, Zach and Rusty Talk Everything Survivor, and Zach and Rusty Talk Everything Survivor 41. That's right. You guys, yeah, I forget you guys did that. <laughs> and lastly, uh, a palpable sense of lawlessness and danger. 
Do you remember this thing from Supertheticals where they talked about oh, a palpable sense of lawlessness? Talked about like an orgy, right? Was yeah, it like an orgy. Um, it's something like that. The palpable sense of lawlessness and danger, <laughs> and like just <laughs> do you random, like, right? <laughs> this random like uh, where was it? I forget. What they were asking about. You may play ambush cards directly from your hand without setting them first. Okay. It's a palpable sense. <laughs> Here's the super theticals number four. So he must have been doing his research as he's watching all these videos. Oh, yeah. Like, he's like, oh, like write this one things. down. That's awesome. That's some, yeah, these are some deep cuts. I was like, I don't even, even remember that until you until you pointed out it was a super theticals card. And I was like, oh, yeah, the one about the orgy. <laughs> Forgot about that. There's a palpable sense of lawlessness and danger. Aww. Oh, <laughs> the best part about this is the fact that it's Happy Rory, <laughs> survivor Rory Freeman. Nice. Uh, he was constantly fighting to stay safe for the game. Was ultimately voted uh, just shy of making the jury. Yeah, got take it too soon. Uh, Inigo Montoya ambush card. <laughs> you, you killed my father. Prepare to die. Activate this card when the monster on your side of the field is destroyed as a result of battle. Destroy the monster that destroyed your monster. Ooh. It's like revenge. That's great. Oh, interesting. It's Star Lord mm-hmm. from our E3 2021 Square Enix review wow. and the E3 2021 Nintendo review. Yeah, because that showed up again. <laughs> uh, an ex space pirate and self proclaimed leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy, he dual wields elemental blasters. I, uh, I didn't. I didn't get that for Christmas. Um, I'm. I'm gonna have to be looking when I get my refund to to pick that game up because I've heard literally nothing but good things about that game. Mm-hmm. So it's um, funny how uh, Star Lord find, found his way in. You would think all the Marvel stuff we talk about, <laughs> we know, didn't talk right? about it. No, anything no, gr- not really. Uh, so we got Machiavelli. Oh. I didn't. Even, I didn't even remember the cat's name. I didn't either. Uh, inflict six hundred points of damage to your opponent's life points. Wow, the ambush card appears in our Luca review. Yeah, I didn't. Even, I didn't even remember that. I've seen that movie <laughs> twi- twice now. <laughs> uh, it was like the names of the Shrek babies. I never knew. Yeah, well, here you go. Well, the three blind mice, they don't have names. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a beast effect. During each turn during your battle phase, all active spell and ambush cards in your opponent's side of the field are flipped face down, therefore deactivating them until they are activated again outside your battle phase. We're going to have all the wacky fairytale creatures in- involved, aren't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> going to get the big bad wolf and the pigs. Aww. It's Lauren. It's the gift exchange. Uh, it's for the gift exchange, but it's a picture of Lauren. <laughs> that's, that's really cute. Gift exchange. Uh, this card can only be activated as long as both players have at least one card in their hand. Each player chooses a random card from their opponent's hand as to their own hand. Ha, swapping. <laughs> the, swap, the swapped cards are returned at the end of the game in the Tarkron Cross of Talker Brothers gift exchange too. We will be nice. having the third the third in that series sometime we soon. We will. It'll be coming soon. Uh, it's... <sighs> It's Donkey, but not the one you would expect. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Run it up by Lord Farquaad with all of the kingdom's fairy tale creatures and exiled the Shrek Swamp. There he became friends with the previously aloof ogre. I wonder how many Shrek the musical cars there are. <laughs> there better be a lot. Um, There's got to be some. Uh... Here we go. Blue shirt guy. Uh, okay. There he is, yeah. guy. <laughs> Uh, video game NPC who achieves sentience. He levels up rapidly through the unconventional technique of doing good ge- good deeds in his game world. You know, it's interesting. Uh, in the New Year's special, the um, the uh, Happy Console Gamer did a New, New Year's special. Rob, Rob Man, mm-hmm. loved that movie. He was like, that movie was amazing. And I was like, okay, so maybe I wasn't all that wrong. I remember I, was, I think I spoke maybe a little too favorably about it, but then hearing his passion, I was like, well, <laughs> I, guess, I, guess maybe, I guess maybe I was kind of feeling that, you know? Right. Uh, and then we have Amore tribe member Clementine Krasinski, 2020 and 2020's Beauty of the Year. That's true. Well, I, I always thought, found it funny because technically they're not, the Beauty of the Year is, is the actress, not the character. Mm. Clementine. Well, well, after breaking up with their two-year boyfriend, they both have their memories of each other erased. However, after the procedures, they end up finding each other again and give their relationship another shot. Mm-hmm. Appears in Eternal Sunshine, the Spotless Mind Review, the 2020 Blasty Awards, and Tarkron All Stars 2. All right. Love cool her. beans. That's it. Nice. Oh, we have a lot to get through. <laughs> <laughs> We're in it for the long longest haul. video yet. Yeah. <clears throat> It'll be worth it, though. Cause... Oh, yeah. This is great. I love that. I've loved everything so far. Yeah. 
He goes above and beyond, your brother. Mm. Flower. Fezzik the giant. Aw. A gentle giant who is friends with Inigo Montoya. The two enjoy playing rhyming games with each other. <laughs> I could kill you now. That's a, that's, that's during that. If he's holding the rock, is I could kill you now. Yeah. That's that. <laughs> From the Princess Bride. Uh, Bucky Barnes. Aw, yeah. From the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Formerly known as the Winter Soldier, he is working towards making amends to those he hurt while he was brainwashed in that role. I'm still confused why they didn't change it to Captain America and Bucky or something. If he's like, he's not the Winter Soldier anymore. Just like, just like the Falcon isn't the Falcon anymore. You think they should change that for when they do season two? I don't know. Timothy, Timothy De La Ghetto as Sun Tzu from the Western Philosophers oh. versus Eastern Philosophers at a grab battle. <laughs> oh, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While this card is face up on your side of the field, you may switch monsters on your side of the field into defense mode after they complete an attack. Defense mode. <clears throat> Elias, is that how it's pronounced? From Loki. Elias? From Loki, the big old gas thing it or smoke thing. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't remember what that yeah, I think I'll, I think that's I think that's right. A L I O T H. During each Alia? player's own end Alia? phase, yeah. if there are any monsters in their graveyard, they are removed from play. Mm. Nice. Arthur Artie Pendragon. Oh, my Shrek gosh. The third. A student at Worcestershire <laughs> Academy, he is King Harold's nephew and the rightful heir to the king's ship of Far, Far Away after Shrek declines the title. God bless him. God, God bless that movie. Gingy the Gingerbread Man. No. Whenever Mongo the giant is on the same side of the field as this monster, this monster may not be the target of an attack. Good job, Gingy. Um, King Harold in frog form. You're getting all the. You're getting all the Shrek. <laughs> oh, okay. You're getting all the Shrek ones here. This monster cannot be destroyed in battle by a water element monster. Hmm. It appears in Shrek Two, Shrek the Third, Shrek Forever After, and reviewing every Shrek short. And lastly, Nexus event from Loki. Oh, yes. Activate Nexus this event. card when a monster on your side of the field is destroyed by an attack from a monster on your opponent's side of the field. The attacking monster is shuffled back into your opponent's deck. Spell card. I'm very much looking forward to having on Owen Wilson or, uh, on, Owen Wilson. Uh, on one of our cards. Yeah, yeah he's just going to show up. You know, it's great. Just Owen great. Wilson. Just Owen Wilson, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even say wow in the, in the, in the show, so... Liberdicio tribe member Din Djarin, the Mandalorian. There he is. Mm -hmm. bum, 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 bum. During your main <laughs> phase, you may search your deck for one the child spell card and equip it to this monster. Shuffle your deck. I haven't started Shuffle watching. Your deck. I haven't started watching Book of Boba Fett either. Oh, I haven't watched that either. Uh, I've heard middling things about the first episode. But that's about it. Uh, I haven't watched that, it. Yeah, probably. Starro the Conqueror. Wow, this card is great. This is the I got the uh, the tiny, tiny Tina. Tina. Yeah, that's it's awesome. Like I love that. Yeah, because I love that because it's like uh, a it PNG wraps and they go. Goes... Yeah, it wraps around. It's really great. I love that. I love that a lot. The pig. Ah, oh, the ambush. <laughs> <laughs> Not the ambush. Ambush, ambush the card. That pig, Activate this card when a monster on your side of the field is sent to the graveyard. Pay 500 life points to stop that monster from going to the graveyard. Oh. All, all battle calculations, if applicable, still occur as usual. Oh. <laughs> oh. There he is. There he is. There he is. It's Lord Farquaad. Okay. Mental warrior, Lord of Duloc, Lord Farquaad recruits Shrek to rescue Princess Fiona from her tower so that he may marry her and one day be a king. Mm hmm. More a tribe member, Joe Gardner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in this card, uh, if this card is in your graveyard during your main phase one, you may special summon it to your side of the field. The next time this monster is sent to the graveyard, it is instead removed from play. It's a great, mm -hmm. great movie. Survivor winner, Tina Wesson. Oh, then she came back for yeah, one she episode. Came back. This survivor, the Australian Outback winner, found herself voted out when she became back for another shot in Survival of Stalls. Yeah, imme immediately. Oh, I didn't even think about that. So we'll have every winner now because it was the, yeah, it was the first three seasons that were not uh, part of yeah. that because they weren't on this channel. The Shrek card. 
Hmm. And that was also that one's also really legit too, because yeah. again, P and, the PNG. Uh, and then Superthetical's a spell card. Mm-hmm. Chuck Klosterman's Superthetical. That's a lot. Your opponent draws card from this from their deck until they draw a monster card. State a guess as to what the monster's attack power is. If you guess within 500 of the actual value, the oh. monster is spe- special summoned onto your side of the field. Yeah. If your guess is incorrect by more than a thousand, this monster is special summoned onto your opponent's side of the field. If neither of these events occur, the monster is shuffled back into your opponent's deck. All cards drawn to your, by your opponents before they drew their monster card are shuffled back into the deck. Okay. Wow. Oh, okay. That's an interesting card. Yeah. That's legit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shrek Forever After. Cookie's Chimichanga Stand. You remember oh, the, the ogre named Cookie? Oh, yes. Cookie. Yeah. <laughs> Cookie's remember. got Chimichanga. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Cookie is cookie. is like the cook ogre, and they show up again in um in one of the shorts too. <laughs> the shorts, I think. Yeah. yeah. As long as this card remains in your side of the field, increase the attack and defense of all monsters on your side of the field by two hundred. Why? Why does? Wait a minute. Why does Cookie show up in the short again? Because that was an alternate reality. He or showed remember? up in the Yule log thing. I think. I oh yeah. I don't know if oh, he ever. He might have like been that. in the other Christmas one too. But yeah, it was. Yeah, I think was so. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> look at that. Tarkaron host Alec. Now that's hey. you got a legit hey. <laughs> PNG card too. That's great. It stretches it goes all throughout the borders. Love that. Love that. This monster gains four hundred defense for every Tarkaron host monster on the field. Very cool. Host of Tarkaron. The host. I'm a host. Princess Fiona. And let's strike the musical again. <laughs> Born a human, it's, it's... Fiona lived her life as an ogre in the night after a curse was placed upon her when she was young. The curse was only broken after true love's kiss left her in permanent ogre form. And it's and it's darling um, name I can't remember, but she's a, she's a Broadway sweetheart. Mm-hmm. She's great yeah. in that. It appears in Shrek, Shrek Two, Shrek the Musical, and Boxer Battles Episode Five. So only in Shrek and Shrek Two. So they're talking about human princess Fiona's that we're talking. Yeah, I guess so. The Moray tribe member Rose. Yeah. Bev Keen from Midnight Mass. <laughs> nice. She's an ambush card. <laughs> <laughs> ambush card. <laughs> All beast type monsters on the field are destroyed and sent to the graveyard. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I get it. What a three, great show. Three Little Pigs. We have the pig and then the three little little pigs. pigs. (laughs) If this card is in your graveyard, you may special summon onto your side of the field with double its defense. The next time this card is destroyed, it is removed from play. Hmm. Norman Bates. Nice. Ooh. From Psycho. His psychosis would cause him to fly into murderous rages whilst wearing his mother's clothing, targeting women who aroused him. Mm Mm-hmm. He's a fiend. How salacious. Epic Lloyd as Theodore Roosevelt. <laughs> Epic Rap Battles of History, Season 5. This caricature of the 26th president. president of the United States went toe-to-toe in a rap battle against Winston Churchill in Season 5 of ERB. And lastly, the spell card 12 Minutes. Oh, oh yeah, that was a game we played this year. <laughs> Activate this card when a monster on your side of the field is sent to the graveyard. Remove it from the graveyard and special summon it to your side of the field. That was an unusual oh, game. So it's, so it's like you're going through a time loop, I guess. Mm. When a monster is sent to the graveyard, then you can remove it from the graveyard and summon it. So babe? I guess that's a babe. <laughs> and we can, yeah, is there a babe card? Babe? Sir? Who Who voiced him again? Was that... Was uh, that... Um, uh, I don't remember who voiced him. I, I'll remember, I don't remember it. Remember hand, yeah. Fergus Farkle and Felicia. Fargus, Fargus, Farkle, of Felicia. Sergeant John Davis. Who is Call that? of Duty. <laughs> he served in the British Sorry. 7th Armored Division under the command of Captain Price in Call of Duty 2. Oh, Here's okay. in Gents Challenge, Gents Challenge 2021. I played that and I remember yeah, him you clearly. That. You do not remember him at all. <laughs> <laughs> the bow staff and special baseball bat. I mean, there we go. That's great. That's our thing. Captain, Captain Hook. I hope there are 12 Captain Call of Duty Hook. 2 cards. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <Captain> Hook. <laughs> yeah, 
I mean, there better be a captive price at that point. Call of Duty uh, 2 Peter, is a good game. Peter Pan's nemesis and pianist at the Poison Apple. He hits His hits include Little Drop of Poison, People Ain't No Good, and Hooked on a Feeling. <laughs> ah, ah. Hooked on a Feeling. Luca Paguro. From Luca. There's more than one Luca card, huh? You, you you may not summon this monster if there already exists a Luca Paguro monster on the field. Okay. Loki Lafeson. Lafeson. God of mischief. Hmm. This version of Loki is what the TV refers to as a variant. His nexus event was to escape from capture in New York City using the Tesseract. What a show. What a show. Clients. Who? Compliance. Compliance. <laughs> Very nice. All monsters on your opponent's side of the field are switching to the defensive position. Damn, ambushed them. Um. From Black Mirror, the, or episode one by two reaction, which is 15 million merits. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. Natasha Romanoff, Black Widow. And there she is. Mm. She's jumping off that building. They're about to. You love that part. After years of... <laughs> <laughs> After years of torturous training and brain watching in the Red Room, she escapes to eventually become a Avenger. Years later, she returns to eliminate the Red Room's overseer, General Drakov. After Yelena informs her that he survived Natasha's previous assassination t- attempt, the Islands of Fire. <laughs> the Islands of Fire. Just the Islands of Fire. There nice. Increase the attack and defense of all fire element monsters by 300. Nice. Very cool. Zach Sherwin is Walt Disney. From Epic Rap of History Season 4, that was the um, Stan Lee yeah, Stan Lee and- versus uh, Jim Henson one. Yeah, and, and then it was like, but then he shows up and it's like, I own both of you now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's an ambush card. Every mm-hmm. time your opponent summons a monster to the field, increase your life points by 300. There you go. Kitty Soft Paws. Here's a uh, Princess Fiona animated version. Oh, is she ogre or human? Human Princess Fiona um, okay. animated version. Survivor winner Ethan Zahn. The Blackout. Oh yeah, que paso? Blackout, blackout. In the Heights. All spell and ambush cards in the field are flipped face down, canceling all their effects until they are activated once again. Mm. In the Heights. Rob Rico is Che Guevara from Epic Rap Battles of History. Ah, yes. Rob Rico's characterization of the famous communist spit fire in his rap battle against Guy Fox in ERB's sixth season. He did, very much so. It was great. <clears throat> Rodent of unusual size from the Princess <laughs> Bride. Wow, a lot of Princess Bride love. Very nice. Terrifying. Giant Bad rat-like rat. creatures that live in the fire swamp. They only attack if they smell blood or outnumber their opponent. <clears throat> Okay, we got King Harold, human version. <laughs> oh, nice. Voiced by John Cleese. Mm-hmm. And Amore Tribe Camp spell card. Increase the attack and defense of all Amore Tribe member and Tarkaran Hose Zack monsters by 300. Decrease the attack and defense of all Liberty CO Tribe member monsters by 200. Ooh. Nice. All right, next nice, attack. dude. Let's keep it up. Keep it going. It's like Christmas. It's like Christmas. <laughs> Bandai Namco E3 2021. Oh, okay. oh no! You may only you may, <laughs> whole ambush. You mean it's card. yeah? Sorry, from our E3 2021 Bandai Namco review and final thoughts. Yeah, because we talked about it for like two minutes, and yeah. we're like, well, nothing to say here, folks. You may only activate this trap. <laughs> this trap. This trap. You. It's a continuous ambush card. <laughs> You may only activate this trap when you and your opponent each only have one monster less on the field. While this card remains on the field, you and your opponent may have no more than one monster on the field each. Uh, like it's just keeping you, <laughs> keep, keeping you cucked, basically. Uh, only and it's only one game. Yeah, it basically, was, that's what I was getting at. Nice donkey. Oh, donkey! Animated donkey. Wow. Yeah. So there you go. Animated donkey. Uh, Sisu. Boy, we had Aquafina ooh, and more than ooh, one thing. Nice more than one, one thing here. It's a nice one. I like that one a lot, actually. It comes out the front. A water dragon who is the last survivor of her kind. She must join forces with Rhea to vanquish the Droon as it returns yeah. to threaten the fate of Comandra. Oh, hey, hey, here we go. Luca Paguro, the monster. 
You may not summon this monster if there already exists a Luka Paguro monster on the field. Mm-hmm. So was there like a human version? Is that what that, the other one was? Yes. Hmm. Sylvie Lafaydotier. Excuse me? Oh. Sylvie. Sylvie. This Loki variant has focused her training on the powers of enchantment and her quest for revenge against the TVA for stealing her from her timeline as a child. Her nexus event is unknown to all but Judge Renslayer. Oh. Oh, no. I think I wiped this out of my mind. Uh, it's Hector's Hole. Hector, dude. <laughs> Hector's Hole, everybody. You, you keep that one around. I, I just had, so. I still have the stack that we did last time. Hector's Hole's just been sitting on the top. <laughs> it's been sitting there. Destroy all monsters on the field. That's just it. Uh, oh, really? Well, there's a lot yeah. more to Hector's Hole. If you want to hear yeah. more about that, it's from Mind Crushers. <laughs> yeah. Mind Crushers, episode <laughs> one. Oh man! Basically, kinda... back, basically Hector ejaculates into a black hole and puts it on Pornhub. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess it will look kind of cool, you know. You gotta uh, watch. Luca I'm not gonna subscribe <laughs> though. Gotta... I'm, gonna subscribe I'm not gonna anything. subscribe. Luca Brasi from uh... the Godfather Review. It's <laughs> an epic, epic picture of him. Activate this card. card. Activate. Yeah, use a spell card. Activate this card, and the effect of the spell or ambush card would destroy a monster on your side of the field. Instead of sending your monster to the graveyard, it instead destroys the monster on your opponent's side of the field with the lowest attack. Uh, if there is a tie for lowest attack, you may decide which card will be destroyed. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> that's rough. Uh, is it Gingy? Here we go. And then it was Agatha all along. Agatha, Agatha Harkness. Harkness. Wow. While disguising herself for a time as a neighbor under Wanda Maximoff's spell. Oh, yeah, there's spoilers for literally everything. Not just Tarkron, for yeah, every show that we reviewed, too. Agnes reveals herself to be Agatha Harkness. Agatha attempts to steal Wanda's power, but is foiled by Wanda and trapped inside her Agnes persona. Mm. Mm-hmm. Nice. Only to return, I'm sure, someday. Okay, Magic Mirror. Okay. Keegan-Michael Key is Gandhi. Epic Rap Out of History <laughs> Season 2. Nice. Keegan-Michael Key's Gandhi was a fiery version of the historical figure who faced off against MLK Jr. in ERB Season 2. Zhu Wenwu. How do you pronounce his name again? Zhu Wenwu. Zhu. Zhu. Wow, there's yeah. a lot of Shang Chi cards. Yeah, and very The nice. Mandarin, a being over four thousand years old, thanks to the power of the Ten Rings, he is heartbroken after his wife is murdered. This leads him to follow a dark path in his futile fight to revive her. Nice. Lord Farquaad. Yeah. Machiavelli. Oh, it is another nice card. Ooh, Samus. Ooh. Samus. Heck yeah. Metroid Dread and um, um, E3 2021 Nintendo review. When the Galactic Federation loses contact with the seven Emmy robots they sent to the planet ZDR to eradicate the dangerous Parasite X, she is sent in to investigate. The game is so good. I, I, I love hearing people shower praise on that game and all their year in review. I'm just like, yay, I'm so glad people are talking about this game. That's it was so wonderful. Yeah. So and he's outdone himself with these cards. There's some of these. Some of them are really, nice really freaking good. Yeah. Luca Paguro. The fishy. Um, Mobius and Mobius. There he Mobius. is. Mobius. An agent of the Time Variance Authority whose faith in the agency is shaken by a couple of Loki variants. Dreams of riding a jet ski. He better, I tell you, Loki season two, he better find a way to ride that jet ski. <laughs> Spell card, 15 million merits. Mm. Draw five cards, discard three of the cards, and add the remaining two cards to your hand. It's from Black Mirror episode two, reaction, 15 million merits. So you just straight up get 15 million merits. Yeah, there you go. Boom. There you go. Yeah. Blackout, blackout. You know what? Uh, well, uh, you know. La Proxima. Okay. La Proxima. Oh, from Jungle Cruise? From, that's the, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that was the name. If this card, I didn't either. If this card is in your graveyard during your main phase two, you may special summon it onto your side of the field. That's the name of La Proxima, is the name of the. Le- leopard he has i guess wait no cheetah wait no i can never i'm always terrible i'm terrible with that i feel like i should know that i like cats but yeah, i still don't cheetah. know that i love that cheetah. musical starring taylor swift cats yeah 
Sorry, Amanda Taylor Waller. Swift and, Amanda Waller, uh, there she is. From the uh, Suicide Squad. From the Suicide Squad. <laughs> Coming up next, in Suicide Squad. <laughs> Select and control one monster from your opponent's side of the field until the end of your turn. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, here's Ander Burkich. Or Ber- Burkich? Burkich, yeah. Yeah, okay. Eventually, and there she is. Amber Mariano. Amber Mariano. So, yeah, you got that. Okay. Dragon. We got Dragon over here. Dragon. We got Dodgson over here. So, Dragon. Mm-hmm. There she is. Once tasked with holding Princess Fiona Captain Vitara, she changes her attitude after falling in love with Donkey. <laughs> Liberdicio tribe member. No way. Also known as Con Baby. It's yeah. no way. <laughs> con Baby. Once per turn during your main phase, you may select one card from either your opponent's hand or face down on your there on their field. If the card is a spell card, you may take possession of that card until it's sent into their graveyard. Ah, Con Baby yeah, strike, <laughs> striking striking again. Con you know? to the very end. Con, conning conning them all. Conning us all. All right. Is Zach Sherwin is Walt Disney? <laughs> yes. Swamp, Swamp King. King. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. A brown bear who is one of the largest bears in his territory. His nose is more than 10 times more powerful uh, than a wolf. I'll say. <laughs> That's a I'll nice say. fact from, from Wolf. Humpty Alexander Dumpty. Duck. I forgot that it was his middle name. <laughs> and I feel sad now. <laughs> Flip. Select one active continuous ambush or spell card on your opponent's side of the field and move it to your side of the field, reassigning all its effects. Uh-huh. Oh, he's flipped on him. 22. There's 22. Mm. From Soul. From Soul. Search your deck for a level 2 or lower monster and special summon it to your side of the field. Shuffle your deck. I like that. That's fun. Yeah. These are, these are killers. Is that it? Is it? Oh. The spell, card, the spell card is just red flags. This red is, flags. It says appears in taking random BuzzFeed quizzes. <laughs> Oh yeah, it was like, flags. what are your red flags? Yeah, I think you had that quiz. I think I did. Yeah, red so flag or not? Relationship red flags or something. Discard one spell or ambush card from your hand or from your side of the field in order to destroy one spell or ambush card on your opponent's side of the field. If either card is face down on the field when destroyed, it is not activated. Nice. Oh, an ambush card, Shrek Treasure Hunt. Oh. Which oh. I, <laughs> <laughs> I have that game now, by the way. Yeah. So it wasn't crazy, expensive, though. I'm assuming. Yeah. Search your deck for any spell or ambush card. Show it to your opponent and add it to your hand. Oh, you go for a little treasure hunt. Oh, that's cards. fun. Loki. There's Loki, God of Mischief. Donkey. But he's in stallion form. In Shrek oh, too. Donkey Stallion. There's so many different forms. I know. Donkey is transformed into a beautiful white stallion after drinking Fairy Godmother's Happily Ever After potion. He reverts back to his usual form after Shrek and Fiona break their curse with True Love's Kiss. We're going to get handsome Shrek then. Yeah, do they not have, like, you didn't even have to, like, sacrifice Donkey. You would think you'd have to, like, do something with that. Yeah, but I guess not. Oh, it's Miss Minutes, an ambush card from Loki. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Voiced by Tara Strong. Yeah. Activate this card if there are one more active effects that have limited duration. Increase the duration of all currently active limited duration effects by one turn. Mm -hmm. It is Pete Dore. Yeah! (laughs) The man himself, Pete Dore. He came out of his YouTube hiatus to help Zack and Alec crown Splatoon 2 as the champion of box art battles, episode 4. Right. Oh, he appears in our October 2020 favorites as well, because <laughs> you talk about Pete Dor and that. Oh, Pete, Pete's horror streams, yeah. Yeah. Talk about that, yeah, Pete. That's yeah. uh, that's awesome. That was so fun. I, I loved having him on. Yeah, he hadn't been on YouTube in forever, and hey, guess what? He does YouTube videos, like, a, he's been doing them, a, like, a lot more recently. I don't mm-hmm. know if you've seen, but yeah. he's been doing a lot. It's been fun. Katie Chen. Oh, now Epic Lloyd as Dr. Hannibal Lecter. Ah. In uh, the Hannibal Lecter versus Jack the Ripper. Epic, mm-hmm. rap, is a little hitter. Epic rap Battles of History. 
Once per turn, during your main phase, you may sacrifice one monster on your side of the field so that this monster can attack your opponent's life points directly in the battle phase. Lastly, Luca Brasi. Nice. Love. I mean, they really did him dirty. He did no, him I dirty know. with this. Really too. Speaking of being done dirty, betrayal. Uh, betrayal. betrayal. <laughs> <laughs> Activate this card when your opponent declares an attack on one of the monsters on your side of the field. Attack is redirected to a monster of your opponent's choosing on their side of the field. <laughs> Episodes eleven and twelve discussion. There you go. Talk I lost that reaction. Yeah. Oh, that was an, that was horrible. That was awful. Terrible. No good. Very bad. Mind Crushers is just the baby. <laughs> the, mind cr- the Mind Crushers baby. I see the baby all, all mental, the time over here. All mental warrior monsters on the field are destroyed and sent to the graveyard. Wow. Timothy Delgado is Sun Tzu. I am Tom. Okay. The last surviving member of Commandra's Spineland after the rest of his people were decimated by the Druid. Damn, a lot of Raya. I feel like I feel like he was just a big Raya fan. I mean, it's it was good. Fair it was enough. good Moopy. It was a good Moopy. Hey, look, Doris. Doris. <laughs> we're From getting all Shrek. of the Shrek characters. You were getting all of them. Doris is one of Cinderella's stepsisters and the bartender of the Poison Apple, so she quits her job to move to far, far away with her new friends. It was. It really is a whole Shrek deck, isn't it? Shrek deck. Yeah, it's the it's Shrek deck. <laughs> it's dude. Dude uh, and guy. Okay. Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that freaking face I though him. I hate him too anytime a spell card is played by either player this monster is unable to initiate an attack until one full turn cycle is complete this dude gets the upper hand for a little bit hey look Amori tribe member Danielle Danny Clayton mm. there she is a nominee for the 2020 Blasty Award for Beauty of the Year and a contestant on Tarkon All Stars 2, where she made the jury and ultimately voted for Alec to win the season. Nice. I like how that her character. I like how these characters are defined by their uh, what they did in Tarkon All Stars 2. It's, now it's awesome. It's, it's what they're most iconic <laughs> or most known for. Uh, one world, one people. Okay. You and your opponent must send monsters to the graveyard until you each only have monsters of one element on the field. The single element does not have to be the same for both you and your opponent. One people. And then the Great Terror from uh, Puss in Boots. <laughs> the Great Terror, indeed. These are nice and easy to open, though. Yeah, they are. I, yeah, the other ones were a little harder to open, I seem to remember. They're These actually, are like, yeah. it's just like snap right off. It's very cool. Very nice. I think we're oh. about halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Spell card. This one is replaced. The video game. That's the one that's like the uh, the cyber looking. like. Oh, bit. yeah. That amazing looking one. Yeah. I was just thinking about that like today. I was just thinking about it. it appears in E3, Xbox, and Bethesda review. Hmm. Whenever a monster on your side of the field with a card equipped to it is sent to the graveyard, you may reassign the equip card to a different applicable monster on your side of the field rather than send it to the graveyard so you can replace it i guess mm. placed three blind mice see how they run Ooh, wanda got the the badass card treatment amore tribe member wanda maximoff very cool a witch of incredible power. She's mm-hmm. one of the most powerful mm-hmm. Avengers, but was voted out pre-jury in Tarkon All-Stars 2. Uh, real yeah. blemished on her legacy. It really life. is, yeah. And <laughs> she might be a really powerful <laughs> Avenger, but whatever. Put it out pre-jury. WandaVision. William B.J. Black- Blasko- Blaskovitz? Blaskovitz. Yeah, Blaskovitz. <laughs> Blaskovitz. Yeah. <laughs> Ambush card. Toxic Relationship. And it's a <laughs> screenshot of Tarkin All Stars Two, <laughs> where, where Rose and I form an alliance. Oh, I leave yeah. the alliance, and then the alliance forms again. Yeah, you, you guys kept going back and forth. It was a very weird relationship. <laughs> toxic. I wouldn't call it toxic. It's real toxic. We haven't talked. It's it true love. It was weird. true love. I think. Yeah. Select one combination monster on the field. Return the target to its combination deck. If all the combination material monsters that were used for its combination summon are in the graveyard, <laughs> they have special summon the combination <laughs> monster's place. I get it. all wow. stars too. It's a toxic relationship right there. This is what is going on. Monsignor John Pruitt from Midnight Mass. Ooh, Mets. very nice. The life points of this card's controller 
increase by 500 points every time this monster destroys an opponent's monster in battle. Whenever this monster is engaged in an attack with a light element monster, this monster is immediately sent to the ga- graveyard following damage calculation. Mm-hmm. I get it. I don't know. He's just a Monsignor, though. Yeah, I, don't, I guess maybe I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Warrior Tribe member Joe Gardner. Pinocchio, baby. Our favorite character! Once per turn, while this monster is on your side of the field, you may choose one card in your opponent's hand. Your opponent must then reveal this card to you. Oh. And lastly, a spell card called Gent Wave. Ooh, yeah, the Gent Wave. Increase the attack of all monsters on your side of the field by 600 for one full turn. It appears in Gents Challenge 2021. That's when we were all Gents, right? Mm-hmm. And there were a bunch we're of all that. Gents, all of us. The most Gents we had that, that time. Yeah, it was crazy. Nice. I just, I'm just stacking these up. I've just got a stack of them. We are all gents. Because I'm going to put all these in my book. I'm going to have so many. So many Those. cards. Tears of the Moon. Tears from moon. Jungle Cruise. Oh, my God. <laughs> Destroy one card equipped to a monster on your side of the field. Ryunosuke Narohodo from our E3 2021 Capcom review. I still haven't played this game. I own it. I, oh. I have it on Switch. Okay. Uh, but that's from uh, Great Ace Attorney. Mm-hmm. Uh, as long as the monster's on the field, if your opponent activates a spell card, you can cancel the effect of that spell card and send to the graveyard at the cost of a 1,000 of your life points. Objection! True objection, yeah. D- do the roar. <laughs> do the roar. <laughs> do the roar. <laughs> An ambush. <laughs> it is an ambush. <laughs> Activate this card during your opponent's battle phase or during their end phase if they skip their battle phase. Identify a monster on their side of the field. This monster must initiate an attack on one of the monsters on your side of the field. The monster targeted by the attack is decided by your opponent. That's Shrek Forever After, right? That's from Shrek the Third. Shrek the Third? The war. Oh. That's oh, it, that's yeah. when they're doing the like the party in the beginning. Or... No. Yeah. That's why I thought it was Shrek Forever After. I guess I forget. Yeah. I forget what that's from. Where I think it comes in. I think that's where they do their. They're doing their little. I have a huge big strand Dang. coming off here. That's when they were doing the. Um, that's Mongo the giant. So they're doing the what? Uh, it's when I think it was during like the. Remember when like Shrek and Fiona were like going around the country and like doing their like little tour, and then Shrek was like, "Yeah, I can't do this." I think that was. I think that was where that little kid's from. Do there are. Hmm. Not away, King Shark. Oh yeah <laughs> yeah. Once per turn, you may send one monster on your side of the field to the graveyard in order to increase your life points by a thousand. Hey, I'm, uh, okay, I'm happy about this. It's Tharja. <laughs> Thar- <okay. laughs> it's the Tharja you know, that's figure. A, that's, a, that's, a, that's, that's a grail figure for me. A dark mage from Plague who's persuaded to join Krom's army has a power to divine the location of anyone or anything using a Monokite scale. I just let a Facebook message noise I, come into the video Whoops. yeah was that was that through you i thought that was on my end it was both of us but uh really oh i, I always need oh, to have I just facebook saw... minimize so it doesn't oh pop yeah into the video, I, but... I should i always forget to do that too anyway <clears throat> there's starja there she is appears, uh appears in the he appears in my figure collection guessing game <laughs> yeah um mm, that's a grail figure for me i still i still someday someday it's it's me, Tarkron host. It's a nice card. Alec, very cool card. Jordan Peele as Muhammad Ali. There he is. <laughs> uh, he and Michael Jordan dukes it out on the on the mic to determine who's the superior dominant athlete. There's Bev Keen ambush card. Aw, it's it's us. It's the Tarkron. Oh my god! Yeah, god tier card. God tier card. Tarkon host Alec plus Tarkon host Alec is a mental warrior combination card. Tarkon host Alec plus Tarkon host Alec. Tarkon host okay. Alec plus Tarkon host Alec. Yeah, it's both. It's both me. No, okay. it's a Zach. <laughs> I duplicate. Gift exchange. Cool. Frank Wolf. Mm-hmm. Wolfhard. Finn Wolfhard. Amore tribe member Don Corleone Michael. Man. Ooh. Michael Corleone. You may summon this monster without any sacrifices if there exists a Don Corleone veto card in your graveyard. Oh, so we know that's coming. Here's in the Godfather series and Dark Run All-Stars 2. That's a powerful card. Look at how they massacred my boy. They massacred my boy. Unrelated, but... 
fairy godmother from Shirak. Once returned, you may send one monster on your side of the field to the graveyard in order to special summon another monster of the same name in its place. Mm. The pig. Ambush. The pig. Sergeant John Davis, who I remember dearly from my time with Call of Duty 2. <laughs> the Pied Piper. Oh. Shrek, you love that guy. Yeah, that was like that part that cracked me up. Once returned, you may take control of one of your opponent's monsters. You may only activate this effect if you're not currently controlling any of your opponent's monsters by way of this monster's effect. If this monster is destroyed, any monsters under your control due to the effect of this monster are returned to your opponent's side of the field. George Watsky is Edgar Allan Poe in the Stephen King vs. Edgar Allan Poe ERB. Yeah. George Watsky's iteration of the fame of the Telltale Heart and the Raven author spit a sting cipher against Stephen King. Nevermore. Nevermore. Tuck Tuck from Raya and the Last Dragon. He's a cute little guy. A monster equipped with this card increases its defense by 700. A lot of Raya love. A lot of Raya love. And a lot of ERB love. I know he loves yeah. ERBs, but Raya coming yeah, in big this time. It is. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. <clears throat> the Super Soldier Serum from Falcon mm-hmm. and the Winter Soldier. There, there it is. There he is. There he is. Equip this card to one monster card. Increase the attack and defense of the monster equipped with this card by 700. Mm. Pyrrha and Mithra. There they are. Ooh. From the Nintendo Direct 21721. This card's controller is able to this this I love ah this the PNGs. <laughs> this card this card's controller is able to freely switch this monster between fire and light element at their whim. The card cannot be both elements simultaneously. It's not only PNG, Very but they, they go outside of the, the traditional know. border, you know. So it's it so nice. cool. I love it. Um Epicloidus Thor. Mm-hmm. That one. Wolfie of the big bad wolf. Nice. From Shrek. <laughs> Uh, a mild manor wolf in a nightgown. Wolfie is ex- exiled to Shrek Swamp where he befriends Shrek the three little pigs and the others. Survivor winner, Richard Hatch. <laughs> there he is. There Sitting there right. lounging. Well, here he is right here. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> in that pose. <laughs> Coming into the All-Star season with high threat level, he couldn't seem to shake. He was voided out pre-jury by his Mogo Mogo tribe. Okay. Yeah, Mogo didn't Mogo. didn't uh, mention the Hatch Hawk Didn't mention the Hatch Hawk didn't mention that at all, I see. <laughs> he rubbed his tribe members the wrong way. Uh, Bucky Burns, did that. Uh, Elioth, we did that. Uh, oh, Harley Quinn. Oh, from the Suicide Squad? Yeah, it's the lovel- lovely Margot Robbie. After finding herself in the Bell Rev prison, she's once again roped into Task Force X for another life-threatening mission. The wickedly talented Adele Dazim. And then... <laughs> Adele Dazim. Do you remember that? Uh, yeah, I do. It was, what? <laughs> it was, yeah, I don't know how he made that mistake. He croaked. He croaked. Who <laughs> said that? Jinji, I think, said that. Yeah. Activate this card when a monster on your side of the field is sent to the graveyard as a result of the battle. You may return that monster to your field until the end of your next battle phase, at which time it, it is to be returned to your graveyard, or until it is sent to the graveyard by some other effect. I love the fact that we have a Shrek deck because we're know, acknowledging Sh- that Shrek, Shrek is deck. the most important thing, thing on our channel. That we've ever done. Yeah. It's the most important thing we've ever done. <laughs> For it's really humanity. Way bigger than Star Wars. The Islands of Fire. Yeah, cool card. Kazuya Mishima. Kazuya. Um, here's an E3 2021 Nintendo review. This is another mm-hmm. cool card. It's cool because it's not every card, so it's just like when you're getting a booster pack, you got ooh, you got a nice special yeah, it's like one. a like a foil kind of, you know. It's like ooh. He possesses a devil gene, a demonic mutation that can transform him into Devil Kazuya. He seeks revenge against his father. He's a strong card too. Mm. Oh, it's <laughs> animated human Shrek. There he is. Human Shrek is a result of Shrek drinking the happily ever after potion that he steals from the fairy godmother's potion factory. It appears in Shrek two. Pretty strong too. Eighteen fifty. Soap McTavish it appears in Gents Challenge twenty twenty one. Sergeant John Soap McTavish joins Captain Price's Bravo Squad in their efforts to track down a nuclear arms dealer in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. 
That was another one I did. This, this, you played that too. You remember it so well, I'm sure. I do remember that well. <laughs> well, yeah. So McTavish so can, McTavish is pretty is iconic. Yeah, pretty iconic. One world, one people. Fifi. Fifi. Fifi for fun. From Shrek Forever After. And every Shrek short. It's Rumpelstiltskin's beloved pet. Oh, yes. Fifi. <laughs> It's like a different goose. That's what's confusing. It is. It's, it's, like, it's, it's another it's goose in Shrek. It's the other goose, yeah. <laughs> a giant magical goose whose feathers Rumpelstiltskin uses for signing magical contracts with his clients. Appears in Shrek Forever After and e- reviewing every Shrek short. That's right. I forgot about that. Luca Paguro, human boy. Fancy that's a human oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. It's cookie. It's cookie. <laughs> <laughs> it's cookie. Once return, if you have a Cookies Chimichanga stand card in your graveyard, you may remove it from your graveyard and shuffle it back into your deck. Shrek, Fears and Shrek Forever After review. His spell card, Sneaky Snack. It's, it's, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, it, is it Grogu eating the little... The, yeah, the little fish eggs. The little sneaky snack. <laughs> You may discard monster cards of level 3 or lower from your hand to your graveyard. For every monster you discard, increase your life points by 500. Nice. That's that for that one. Very nice. Sneaky Shrek. So many Shreks. Like, every Shrek character is going to be represented. That's great. He croaked <laughs> ambush think, wait, cards. Hey, let's make a prediction. Will Simon Cowell be in the Shrek deck? Oh, he freaking better. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Survivor Xi'an Huang. There she is. Xi'an. Yeah, so he just put some fin, some of our favorites in there, too. She was the sole representat- representative of Survivor Thailand in the All-Star season. She made jury and ultimately voted for Amber to win. True. She John the, difference. the Hangman Ruth <laughs> yeah. from Hateful Eight. A bounty hunter charged with bringing in outlaw Daisy Darmergu. He is eventually Daisy shown to be a... Li- He's eventually shown to be allergic to poison, of all things. Ah. Uh, oh, that's too bad. Bum, bum, bum. Ba-da, ba-da, bum. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. <laughs> bum, ba da da uh, The Three Little Pigs. Did we already do that one? Yes. Yeah, Three Little Pigs. Oh, Shrek. Tuck, tuck. Liberty Seer tribe member Eliza Hamilton. Eliza. Burn. While this monster is on your side of the field, you may discard cards from your hand to your graveyard during your main phase one or main phase two. For every card that you discard, increase your life points by five hundred. Ooh, that's that's a, that's <laughs> that's it. That's cool. I didn't think about the fact that even stuff we didn't review in that time yeah. from Tarkin yeah. All Stars, they can still come in because we already had Hamilton cards in the last first edition. And it's the Muffin Man. Uh, the Muffin Man lives on Drury Lane. It looks like Drew Lane. Uh, search your deck for either a Mongo the Giant or Gingy the Gingerbread Man card and special summon it to your side of the field. It's a spell card. Cooking very cool. Up. There's Wanda. It's very cool. Very cool card. There's the palpable sense of lawlessness and danger. <laughs> and then I'm already trying to remember Rusty the Redeemed. The Redeemed. He looks so freaking happy in that picture. It's great. <laughs> I love it. He's, just, he's so thrilled. It's great. Love that. I love seeing our friend happy. I do like seeing my friends happy. Mm-hmm. It's true. Spell card making amends, and it's a picture from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The list that Bucky mm-hmm. has to make amends. Mm-hmm. Discard one spell or ambush card from your hand or the field, aside from this one, in order to special summon one monster from either you or your opponent's graveyard onto your opponent's side of the field in attack mode. If the discarded card was face down in the field, it is not activated. John the Hangman Ruth. Moff Gideon. The Mandalorian, oh. season two. A fierce military strategist and leader of remnants of the Galactic Empire. He's in pursuit of capturing Grogu so he can use his blood in experiments evolving force sensitivity. Wolfie, the big bad wolf. He has the, uh, the bloodied shield. Mm. A lot of Falcon and the Winter Soldier cards, too. Yeah. Uh, activate this card when an opponent's monster with an equipped card is sent to the graveyard. Take control of the equipped card and equip it to a monster on your side of the field. Survivor Rory Freeman. Happy Rory, too. Yeah. Oh, it's Kyoko from Junji Ito's. Sensei. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Nice. 
When she survives a volcanic eruption that destroys an entire village, her hair becomes suffused with the strands of golden hair fibers that telepathically link the villagers, imbuing her with telepathic powers. <laughs> That's true. Yo, I want that picture wow. of the of the guy, the guy's eyes coming oh, out. Yeah, I want I want that. Maybe uh, that'd be great. Baron Helmet Zemo. Zemo from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Mm-hmm. Once returned during your battle phase, you may move points between this monster's attack and defense. You may not initiate an attack with this monster on the same turn that you use this effect. You may not use this effect on the same turn that this monster was summoned. So his attack is zero and his defense is 2,000. Mm. So you can use this effect to switch it between what well, has 2,000. Very nice. And the spell card, Vespa from Luca. <laughs> Increase your life uh, points by 500. Ah, oh, that's great. We just need a, we need a Vespa. That's fun. Luca. Okay, let's see. Let's see. There's Cookie. <laughs> One of Cookie. my favorite Shrek character. Is replaced. <clears throat> Major Marcus Warren <clears throat> from Eight Flight. Mm-hmm. Uh, an ex Civil War Union cavalry member, member now working as a bounty hunter, never actually received a letter from Abraham Lincoln. Oh, spoiler alert! Mm. Uh, Helmet Zemo. Oh, this is Zemo when he's like, he's got a little cup of his little cup. <laughs> cup of tea. Surprised they didn't do the dancing one. Yeah, I know. That's I was, I was kind of <laughs> like doing that. Uh, the eyes. Massimo Marcovaldo. Oh. The. The most wholesome dad Why character. Luca, that... Luca wasn't that good. Luca... Yes, it was. Yes, it was. It mm. was that good. He's a wholesome, non-toxic father figure, and I loved him. <laughs> a, kind, a, kind, a kind-hearted fisherman. He and his daughter are the first humans in Puerto Rosso to accept Luca and Alberto for who they are. God bless. Uh, it's called Puerto Rosso. You have to. You have to. You have to love it. Uh, there's there's Don Corleone, and Michael. Maybe some of this monster. Yeah, we already, we already did that one. Uh, George Watsky is Edgar Allan Poe, mm-hmm. which we also already did. Uh, and then the accidental axe murder. <laughs> that's legit, man. That's, that's that's awesome. That yeah. is awesome that he that he drew that. If he drew, I think that's his uh, signature there. Maybe is yeah. W A maybe. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, that's that's legit. great. <laughs> Super Soldier Serum. Cool. Uh, Simon Cowell. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Once returned, you may send one monster that is not Shrek, Princess Fiona, Donkey, or Puss in Boots on your opponent's side of the field back into their hand. Okay, I think that's a that's like a specific Easter egg because... Um, when you used to be able to choose who the winner was, right. you could only pick out of those. It would never let yes, you pick. Yes, you could. It would never let you, you pick the side characters. If you picked any of the side characters, then he'd just be like, screw it, I'm far, far away out or whatever, <laughs> right? <laughs> you'd be like, <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> what? Yeah, <it'd> be like... <laughs> he, really, yeah. he really gave it his all in that voice acting role. He yeah. really did. No, he didn't. Phone he involved. phoned it in horribly, and it's amazing. I kind of, I kind of love that he just phoned it in. <laughs> oh, nice. From the Game Awards 2020, it's Sephiroth. That's when they first that was pretty. That was pretty awesome. This monster gains 300 attack when it initiates an attack. Oh, nice. That's another cool. Card. That was what the Game Awards. That's what the Game Awards was missing this last year. Just this that we just. Did it didn't have it didn't have a reveal like that? Didn't it have one of them though? Didn't this the one this just re- recent one twenty twenty one. Not really. I mean, it had some pretty excellent stuff, but nothing like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Donkey. Okay. Bandai Namco E three twenty twenty one. Liberty City tribe member Noi Khan baby. Mm. Amori tribe member Danielle Danny Clayton. Cruella. Oh. The when official. this card is summoned to the field, all Estella monsters in the field are sent directly to the graveyard. This monster gains 500 attack and defense for every Estella monster sent to the graveyard as a result of this effect. Huh. And lastly, the spell card Da. 
<laughs> we were on all on board for Da. And me Survivor and you. Vanuatu, episode <laughs> four. As long as that this card mean. remains in the field, increase your life points by two hundred every time you draw a card from your deck. <laughs> da. Da was the man. Da like <laughs> saved the women tribe, kind of. Um, all, all it took was a man to save the women's tribe. Uh, making amends. Queen Lillian. There she is. Lillian. We always forgot what her name was. Queen Lillian. Mother to Fiona and wife to King Harold. She's a kind soul and calm presence. She's always key to de-escalating emotional outbursts among her family. She's pretty good. Kazuya Mishima. The Vespa. Liberdicio tribe member Howl Pendragon. <laughs> Shrek <laughs> Treasure Hunt. I love how it's this freaking picture. <laughs> Uh, ah, Don Corleone Vito. Vito. You come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding. You may not summon this monster if there are any Don Corleone monsters already on the field. You never even asked me for a cup of coffee. Alexei Shostakov, a red guardian. There he is. Oh. There he is. There he is. Black Widow. A Russian super soldier assigned to the role of father figure to Natasha Romanov and Yelena Belova. Claims to have fought Captain America in the 1980s. But that's impossible. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> flip all monsters. Flip all monsters your opponent controls face up. <laughs> <You're>, this, <laughs> this, card, this card remains on. It's like. <laughs> This card remains on the field for three of your opponent's turns. While this card is face up on the field, monsters your opponent controls cannot declare an attack. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's clever. Wow. While this card is face up. Yep. I get it. I get it. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Eyes appear. You know? What did it say? Wow. Appeared in? The survivor. Appeared in Survivor Pullout Episode 2 Reaction. Oh, in episode two specifically, yeah. Because well, that's that's when she went home, I think. But uh, that's when we were like, wow. I was like, wow. That's when it started, <laughs> and then I don't and know how many just... times I included it after. I might have cut it out most of them. Yeah, most of them. But I did say it in every episode <laughs> behind the scenes fact there. Wow. Yeah, a spell card triangle strategy from Nintendo Direct, <laughs> February seventeenth. Nice. You may activate this card when you have at least one monster card, one ambush card, and one spell card active on your field. Inflict 1,500 points of damage to your opponent's life points. Wow. Mm. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Inkling. Are they a squid Umi. or a kid? That's, that's all it says. <laughs> appears in Box Art Battles Episode 4. Wumi. Mm -hmm. Whoa. The baller. Princess Fiona... Animated ogre form. Yeah, animated ogre, Fiona. Full on badass green card. Nice. <laughs> Once held captive in a dragon guarded tower, F Princess Fiona learns the true meaning of beauty after true love's kiss. Mm -hmm. Appears in Shrek Review Series and Box Art Battles, Episode 5. I like how all these Shrek characters, have to, most of them appear in Episode 5 of Box Art Battles. Look at that Shrek. Yeah, because of the box art. This, that was awesome. Those, that, was, that was inspired. Yeah. Star Lord and Ambush Card Emmy from Metro ah. Dread. Destroy one monster in defense position. Liberdicio tribe member Hua Mulan. Tharja. Nice. Tharja Butt. Oh, from Puss in Boots. It's Jack and Jill. <laughs> right up the hill. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mean and nasty outlaws. Jack wants wants to settle down and focus on raising their piglet, Hamhawk, but Jill is committed to their criminal pursuits. <laughs> That's true. They did have that little disagreement. Yeah. A spell card, Alligator Loki. Oh yeah. Equip this card to a monster on your opponent's side of the field. The attack of the monster with this card equipped decreases by three hundred. <laughs> 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 That's great. Do you remember um, what alligator Loki does? Yeah. Yeah. You put him on the other side of the field. Yeah. Yep. That's it for that one. Yep. All right. Back and Jill right up the hill. Okay. I uh, love these are my favorite Shrek characters. Back and Jill. Twelve minutes, babe. Sir. 
Also, wait, I like how on this it's just her dead. <laughs> it's just her dead and he's just standing there. <laughs> Babe? Sir? Babe? Is jo <laughs> was it Joseph Gordon-Levitt? Wasn't he the one that did? I don't remember. Uh, Arthur, Artie Pendragon. Oh, whoop, wrong place. Estella? The Nexus event. Sam Wilson, Captain America. See, now we got a bunch of, we got some repeats in here. Gree. Or Gris, but oh. Gree. Uh, it's a fairy card. She is a young girl lost in her own world, dealing with a painful experience in her life. Her dress grants her abilities to navigate her faded reality. Here in Jen's Challenge 2021. The Golden Goose. Whoa. As long as this card remains in your side of the field, increase your life points by 200 every time monsters sent to the graveyard. Rob Rico is Che Guevara. And I also got the Jack and Jill card. <laughs> in that pack. Everybody deserves a Jack and Jill card. Everybody, everybody, everybody likes a clown. Golden Goose. Oh, wow. That's like a strong green. So it, is, it is a very strong green. Whoa, badass card. It's Rabid Luma. Whoa. That's a nice looking card. An Looking uncanny and powerful creature formed by the fusion of a Luma and a Rabbit. Appears in E3, Ubisoft, and Nintendo reviews. Nice. That game comes out this year, I think, right? So. I don't know. Yeah. Sylvie. Doris. Uh, an ambush card from E3. 2021 Square Enix review chaos. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I'm so happy that's there. I wasn't even thinking about that, but yeah, that had to, that had to be that had to exist. Jack, His name is freaking Jack. All this monsters' attack points and defense points are flipped. Oh, that is chaos <laughs> indeed. Libidicio tribe member John Milton finds his way back. Finds his way back <laughs> in addition to. After being booted out of the merged Tarkaron tribe, he became the second juror in Tarkaron All Stars Two, ultimately casting his vote for Alec to win. Yeah, I think because I think he already had a John Milton card uh, in the first deck, so this is like so that's why his whole description is about Tarkaron All Stars Two. Appears in the 2020 Blastia Awards and Tarkaron All Stars Two. We gotta have a Blastia Awards coming up too. Yeah, we, get, we get, some follow ups I, I coming. About that. Yeah, so we gotta we have one of those. We gotta talk about that. I just realized we gotta talk about that. We yeah. haven't done that. We haven't even talked about that yet. I didn't realize how Clementine, how squished in his, her name is. Mori tribe member Clementine Grzynski, 2020's Beauty of the Year. Yeah, I was like, um, whoa. <laughs> you have to kind of like, you have to get a magnifier. To... Jordan Peele as Muhammad Ali. Mm -hmm. Spell card. Oh, it's a follow up to last time. Collaboration. Ooh. So it's us and all of our guests we had since then. So you got Ryan, Cole, Pete, and Rusty. Oh and yeah, us. we had Cole on for the February for the, the February, February Nintendo, Nintendo Direct. Direct. Yeah, yeah, we should, just <laughs> nice. This card allows Very you cool. to send combination material monsters are listed by a combination monster card from your hand or your side of the field to the graveyard in order to special summon a combination monster from your combination deck. That's a lot of words. A lot of combinations. Combos. Get the wombo combo. Oh, oh, oh. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, uh. uh, uh -oh. What did you, you do? Have a situation. Oh, well, I tore it, and then the oh, there we go. Okay, I, I ripped all it. the cards in half. I ripped, <laughs> ripped all the cards. <laughs> Who is it? Let your freak flag fly. <laughs> That's your free fly, it's a spell fly, card. Uh, search your deck for any field spell card and activate it. Shuffle your deck. Well, you gotta let your free flag fly. You know that's what they say. Survivor winner, Chris Dougherty. Mm. After surviving the elimination of every other man in the game until it was only him and six women remaining, he snuck his way into the final two and earned the title of Soul Survivor. I think, and Tom's just gonna be just short of being included. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Cole, we were just talking about him. I yeah. completely forgot that was that was this February. Completely forgot that guy existed. I completely forgot Cole existed. No, I didn't. How can you can't you? How do you forget? How do you forget Cole? <laughs> Initially felt lukewarm about 
21, 21's February Nintendo Direct, but the self-described giant freaking man baby ultimately decided that he did enjoy the presentation overall. That's, <laughs> that's the most cool thing I ever heard. I forgot that he was like, yeah, I didn't think it was that good. And he was like, no, nah, actually, it was pretty great. Mm -hmm. uh, the Dark Saber. Very cool. Equipped spell card. Mm, it's very nice. This card can be equipped to any dark element monster. Increase the attack of a monster equipped to this card by 500. It's human Shrek. <laughs> Holding the potion. Like he's like, who? We've got King Harold. King Harold's looking kind of pissed off there, you know? Mm -hmm, that was a great dinner. That was great, a great, great scene at the table. Great center, great dinner scene. I think we all, we all appreciate the dinner scene. Uh, Usnavi de la Vega. From Usnavi. Yeah. Owns a bodega yeah, in Washington Heights, you did for me. where he employs his cousin Sonny. Dreams of one day returning to the Dominican Republic. I, I'm waiting for I'm waiting for some more some more in the Heights characters. That's mm -hmm. what I, that's what I want. Alligator Loki, and then Monsignor John Pruitt. I love the in that song where she keeps saying Usnavi. Mm -hmm. Usnavi. <laughs> Always gets me. I do, yeah, I do. I like, I like her saying that too. And she says it because it's like clever how they worked that into that song too. <clears throat> the Muffin Man, Doctor Lily Houghton from Jungle Cruise. The no. description just says pants. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, they're weirdly obsessed with her pants in that. Yeah, and because uh, it was like the Frank called her pants. Oh, he, oh yeah, he called her pants. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's all the description you need. Yeah. Just pants. Agatha Harkness, Captain Hook. Did we have Captain Hook yet? We did. Yeah. Captain Hook has. Nigo the... Montoya. He uh, Captain Hook sings. Uh, Keep hitting this mic. Hooked on a feeling. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we need you to try to remember Don Din Jaren Mandalorian. Survivor so winner Richard Hatch. Don Corleone Vito and twenty two. All right, wow, we're getting so we're starting to get we're starting to get into. No, I still have quite a few left. Yeah, like I still that. have quite a few left here too. Mm. Is this a bad draw of a bunch of the repeats, maybe. Maybe I don't know. We're gonna I guess we're gonna see as we keep going here. Emmy ambush card, very very cool looking card. Emmy awards. Love that one. The Emmy awards. Soap McTavish, the Rascal Wave. Ah. Uh. Increase the attack of all monsters on your opponent's side of the field by 600 for one full turn. The True Gents Challenge 2021. Mm, yeah. That was indeed a rascal, <laughs> rascal wave. wave. The Rodent of Unusual Size. The Great Rascal Wave of 2021. Uh, the animated Lord Farquaad. Moff Gideon. The toxic relationship <laughs> of, of Zack and Rosé. It was very weird. Survivor. Boston Rob Mariano. Uh, there he is. Smiling Boston Rob. This monster gains 500 attack for every survivor winner Amber Burkich monster on <laughs> the field. And there's phoned in, really creepy looking Simon Cowell. <laughs> 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 okay. Field spell card Shrek Swamp. Oh. Increase the attack and defense of all ogre type monsters by 500. Hey, we do Fair have enough. Cookie in there now. Yeah. Major Marcus Warren. Nice Peter as Luke Skywalker. In oh. the Harry Potter versus Luke Skywalker ERB. That was a cool one. He used the power of the Force and the power of Rhyme in an epic rap battle against fellow orphan with mystical powers, Harry Potter. <laughs> Lord Farquaad, Shrek the Musical. Hector's Hole. Uh, it's just firm around... Around a black hole. That's what the current <laughs> is. Survivor Boston Rob Mariano. Swamp King. Natasha Romanoff, Black Widow. And lastly, spell card The Angel from Midnight Mass. As long as this card remains in the field, whenever an opponent's monster is sent to the graveyard as a result of battle, special summon it from your opponent's graveyard onto your side of the field with a 500 attack and 500 defense. Mm. Nice. Very cool. We're flying through them now with the repeats. Flying through, flying through the repeats. Okay. Wait, do you have a? Let's think. Think of a card that you could you would want 
Well, I want um, I want what's her, what's her name from In the Heights? Oh. Uh, the one we were just talking about. She needs to be on there desperately, desperately, mm-hmm. um. desperately. Um, we also need Abuela. Um, and we need she was already technically on here because she was in. We had Paciense y Fe, mm-hmm. but uh, that's maybe Sunny. We need some In the Heights representation. You want some more in the Heights. In the Heights, uh, I'm trying to think of some other. Well, we need more members of Blackpink. I don't know if we'll get that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if we'll get that though. Yeah, we we it would be nice, but I feel if we, like if we did, like it would have been. Oh no, it's true. What? The year without a Sonic. Uh, <laughs> oh, an also, like the hedge, also, it's like the Hedgehog monsters <laughs> in the field are destroyed and sent to the graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> Because he was really holding out, he was like, "I want the, I want a Sonic." Like, yeah, you can always have a Sonic, but we never got. Yeah, it. but Eric Simmons, there he is. Oh. Eric Simmons, What's there he Frank? is. Frank, in his quest to rescue his brother Frank, he learns to awaken his third eye in order to fight ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. We need Frank it involved, though. Like, there's no picture there's, of Frank. Uh, That's the problem. There's Princess Fiona. But Frank is very culturally. Um, um, he did not care. About just culture. dear Evan Hansen ambush card. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, uh, activate this card when a monster on your side of the field is sent to the graveyard. Increase your life points by eight hundred. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I love that. Oh, okay, the angel. <laughs> All right. I was uh, listening to the Dear Heaven Hansen uh, Fairy Godmother soundtrack the other day. <laughs> There's John Milton. <laughs> Um. Oh, S- Survivor, Twyla Tanner. Hmm. There she is. Team Twyla. She sometimes had trouble getting uh, gelling with her tribe mates, but she successfully navigated the game to be a runner-up in Survivor. And want to. Yeah, she did. Elena Belova. After defecting from the red room, there she is. Love her. Made by Florence Pugh. After defecting from the Red Room, she was put through mind-controlled programming until the former widow freed her from the Red Room's control with the antidote known as Red Dust. Love that girl. Yeah. She's great. She's the best part of the movie. Spell card, Shrek's Carnival Craze Party Games. <laughs> Otherwise known as the winner of... The winner of Box Art Battles Episode 5. Box Art Battles, yeah. Flip a coin three times. Increase your life points by 500 for every time your coin lands on heads. Increase your opponent's life points by 200 for every time your coin lands on tails. Ooh. That's a cra- crazy party game. Yeah. Survivor Xian Huang. Alexi. Red Guardian. Rumpelstiltskin. Hey, there he is. Send four cards on your side of the field to the graveyard in order to increase your life points by 2,000. Here's in Shrek Forever After, reviewing every Shrek short and Box Art Battles episode 5. Amanda Waller from the Suicide Squad. Mm-hmm. Ryunosuke Naruhodo Hodo, from the... Capcom Review. From... Great Ace Attorney mm-hmm. Chronicles. Usnavi! <laughs> Yelena Belova. And the Darksaber. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we are we are starting to get down here. There's a few left. Let's get down to business to defeat the hunt. Let's get down to business. Do defeat. Not, not in live action, though. Yeah. My ass is hanging out. What? Ah, <laughs> oh, Julie. Julie. God bless you. Julie. Her. This card can be equipped to any fairy type monster. The monster is equipped with this card and increases defense by a thousand. Okay, <laughs> sexist. That's okay. Okay. Mm, yeah. Women, just women things. And this Robert Dubois, Bloodsport, played by the wonderful Idris Elba. Heard of Locked him. up in Bel Rev for putting Superman in the ICU with a kryptonite billet, he's drafted into Task Force Ask on a mission to destroy Project Starfish in Quarto Maltese. Played by the wonderful Knuckles the Echidna. Yeah, played by Knuckles, the wonderful <laughs> Hairball. Mm-hmm. Put that card away. I haven't seen that in a while. It's Shang Chi himself. Did we get that? I don't remember if we got that one. No. Alright, I don't think we did. Got everyone around him. 
Mm -hmm. training the arts of the assassin since a young age by his father uh but he doesn't follow in his father's ruthless paths wow i should watch that movie again it was Mm -hmm. really good the blackout there it is the blackout blackout oh yeah okay uh mobius m mobius um thelonious (laughs) the one bit character under the employ of Lord Farquaad as a torturer and executioner, his deep voice and mass face cover is less than stellar intellect. <laughs> Here it is in Shrek Review, reviewing every Shrek short, Boxer Battles, episode five. Yoko, wow, she looks like a total babe in this picture. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then Sephiroth. <laughs> Let your freak flag fly. <laughs> the as we all know is the theme of the, of the shrek series i mean no <laughs> it's, all it's, about. it's the theme of that movie apparently it's a freak it's snake. she wolf from wolf versus bear i'm oh i'm hoping for a usurper bear too yeah where's the usurper usurper bear has yeah to usurper be bear has to be there this monster gains 500 defense for every swamp king on the field uh, okay <laughs> Vision. Swamp King. Snoop Lion as Moses. <laughs> <laughs> was he known as Snoop Lion at the time? I think he was, yeah. Once per turn, you may permanently flip the attack and defense stats of one water element monster on the field, except for this monster. Appears in Epic Rap Battles of History Season 2 review. Snoop Lion. Rascal Wave. Dude. Survivor winner Chris Doherty. Call uh coal and superthetics. Terry through them. Going, keep moving. Moving right along, moving right along. Red flags. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Random Buzzfeed quizzes. Uh, Weed Al Yankovic as Sir Isaac Newton. Keegan Michael Key as Gandhi. Cookies Jimmy Changa stand. The Berducio tribe Mary Corleone. Boy, what a the face we all love. <laughs> yeah. It's very Weird. true. Epic Lloyd as Theodore Roosevelt. Just the straight Puss in Boots card. Hmm. Looking yeah. looking like a great it's card like all there. The main, it's, like a, it's like all the main Shrek yeah. characters get their nice yeah. standout card. It's cause well, I it's cause I think like um sort of like a lot of like big franchise stuff where they have their like official render. So they yeah. have like the official art render. So you can always get like really nice PNGs of that stuff. So hired by King Harold to assassinate Shrek. Though those he is either he fails in his effort. Shrek spares his life, and Puss initiates a life debt that transforms into a permanent friendship. Very nice. The Amori tribe camp. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. I'm very confused about <laughs> this one. Don Corleone Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's that about? That's when we were... We were uh, brainstorming our, our movie starring Rusty in the oh, yeah. Supertheticals. <laughs> forgot about that. <laughs> What's that picture? I forgot about that. <laughs> That's oh, an amazing right. picture. He that is an amazing he, picture. He did screenshots. Of he did. That looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> one Rusty monster plus one Don Corleone monster. It's a fiend combination. Oh. <laughs> that might be my favorite mm-hmm. card. <laughs> and then we had fan fiction involved. Uh, it was, <laughs> it was, mm-hmm. <laughs> that's amazing. Tears of the Moon. Mm-hmm. From Jungle Cruise. I've got five packs left. Pyra and Mithra. Sexy ass card. Don Corleone Rusty. <laughs> yeah, you could have noticed <laughs> that. I, I really love that picture so much. <laughs> <laughs> where do you find it like did he really have to scour the internet or does he just have a if you look on rusty's page does he have a picture of that i don't know humpty yeah, alexander right. humpty <laughs> compliance cool. yeah compliance drunkies <laughs> from shrek the de- dragon and and donkey oh babies. yeah oh, <laughs> oh yeah i when like a, to forget those exist. when a dragon and a donkey love each other very much Yep, dot, that dot, happens. Dot. Appears in Shrek 2 review, Shrek the 3rd review, Shrek Forever After review, reviewing every Shrek short in Box Art Battles Episode 5. <laughs> Survivor Twilight Tanner, Thelonious, 
And betrayal. Betrayal. <clears throat> what if the rest are all repeats? That's a good Five board packs game. Five packs of repeats. Five packs of repeats. <laughs> uh, nice Peter is Luke Skywalker. We have Stallion Donkey. Uh, we got Fezzik the Giant. I will kill you now. <laughs> we have Sneaky Snack. Ah, Sheriff Hassan. Mm. There he is. Sharif. The resident sheriff on Crockett Island. He is met with prejudice and tension from the town's mostly Catholic residents. Is Tarkaron okay. host Zach? Look at you. There yeah. you are. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> this monster gains 200 attack for every Tarkaron host monster on the field. All right. There's freaking Pinocchio. There he is. There he is. <laughs> uh, triangle strategy. Spell card. And Shrek Swamp location. Field spell card. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I'm getting all repeats. There are repeats I now. Get, hopefully I get a new one. Yeah, we need some new ones in here. Chuck Klosterman. Do the roar. <laughs> Do the roar. Tarkron, who's Zach? He has a sexy card. Shrek the musical donkey. Mind Crushers. Sheriff Hassan. Massimo. Marco. Marco Valdo. Oh. Survivor winner Tina what? Wesson. My ass is hanging out. <laughs> and Tarkaron. Wow. All repeats. Mm. All repeats. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Shrek's Carnival Craze Party Games. Rabid Luma. Mm -hmm. Epic Lloyd is Dr. Hannibal Lecter. Princess Fiona Human. Morris. Ryan. Mm -hmm. That was... We were... We were... At, that was that was during the heat of the freaking summer there. I remember that. That was a hot episode to record. That was hot. That was a, it was a hot, hot episode, bro. It was a hot episode. Uh, for his first time as a Jens Challenge I guest watch on the it channel, back sometimes. Persona 5, <laughs> Persona 5 <laughs> handed him a rascal title. It did indeed. As it is going to for many, I'm <laughs> sure. Just, just everyone who plays that game. Frog Lady. Gent Wave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rumple Stiltskin. Is that it? Can't really? Yep. That's All it. repeats. Get, uh, no, we had Ryan on that one. Oh yeah. Glee. Yeah. He croaked. Shang Chi. Puss in Boots. The year without a Sonic. <laughs> Raya. There's Raya. Oh. Yeah. She is. After the dragon gem is broken, releasing the droon upon the world, she's forced to steal herself over the course of six years in her search for Sisu, the last living dragon, the last hope for saving her world. The Bredisio tribe member Eliza Hamilton. Ryan. And wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Man, Dang. we got some rare cards left. Some rare cards left. Fat puss. <laughs> <laughs> Fat puss. That bus. Wow. Equip this card onto any monster in the field. Lowers its attack and defense by 400. That fat puss. That's a fat puss. Dr. Lily Houghton. Cruella. Cruella. 15 million merits. Spell card. Fifi. Mm -hmm. Pete Door. Oh, I got my own Pete Door card now. I'm excited. <laughs> How many people can say they have a Pete Door card? I don't think and not any. very many people. Hey, Dulipa. Ah, Dua. Boom, boom, all boom, monsters boom, on the boom. all monsters on the same side of the field as this monster are treated as fire element monsters as long as this card remains on the field. Fire. Our, Trade fire. <laughs> Trade fire appears in our December twenty twenty favorites Dulipa Future Nostalgia Review. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Fuego. King Harold, the frog version. What, the, what is this pose? Yeah. <laughs> just like. Uh, and in collaboration. Wow. Oh. Two whole decks left. This, one, this is a spell card. It just says, 
it's inspiring. <clears throat> and it's the Shrek 2 box art. What is what was inspiring about it? I think I think you were talking about we were talking about like the we were talking about like the the shade from the from the logo on his head. We're like, wow, that's really inspiring. Yeah, I think you said something to that effect. Zoomed in on it, or maybe I said that I might have said that. I don't know. It's inspiring. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's we we did talk about that a lot though, because I was like, wow, that's really great. That's Mm -hmm. inspiring. You know, I have to wait this card in order to summon a level seven or higher monster with only one monster sacrifice. After this effect has been used once, this card is removed from play. I thought I could have swore you were the one that was like, wow, that's really that's inspiring. Oh. You know, <laughs> yeah, <'cause... laughs> Piers and Box Art Battles episode five. You have to go back and watch that one. That was that was that was wild. Yeah. Tong. Dragon. Prince Charming. Dear Evan Hansen. Bloodsport. Eric Simmons. Harley Quinn. Eric Simmons. And Liberty Sea Tribe Camp. Eric Simmons from Cursed Mountain. Oh right, Frank. Brother Frank. Frank was a jerk. You know, mm-hmm. I was like, wow, the Dronkies. Here they are. Elizabeth, looking like a looking like a like a babe. She's one. The Inkling. Who is it? Elizabeth from Bioshock. Oh. Uh, Miracle Max. <laughs> wow. Select one monster card from either your opponents or your own graveyard and special summon it onto your side of the field. Shrek 2. It's inspiring. It's inspiring. <laughs> it's inspiring. Wait, I just put Miracle Max over here. I'm ooh, starting to get late, I think, because I'm like, I'm I'm all all, all out of sorts. <laughs> Raya, She-Wolf, Da. Oh my god, it's Da. We have a card with Da on it. Think about that. Think about the, mm-hmm. how freaking epic that is. Sutton Foster's Princess Fiona. I just remember now that her name is Sutton Foster. Sutton Foster. Mm-hmm. She's All darling. Right. Last pack for me. Last pack. Last pack for me too. Well, so the, so we should just open these at the same time, right? <laughs> there's gonna be new. Well, let me get it. Let me see if there's any new ones in here. Fat Puss, Dua Lipa. Yeah. Okay. Nunaway, King Shark, Sisu. Disgusted. Blue shirt guy. La Proxima, Queen Lillian, and Miracle Max. Okay. No, nope, all the same. All what he beats. So my mine were all what was, what was what are the ones I had? Snoop Lion, Tan Legacy, Merlin. I forget about freaking Merlin. That was really early. Norman Bates, Shu Wenwu, Miss Minutes, Samus Aran, Chaos, and the Pied Piper. <laughs> Look at this stack. I got a stack of cards. A massive here. stack of cards. Four right decks there, son. and all. Okay, so we can open this blue thing now. I'm it's assuming a... this is how the deck breakdown, like before. Yeah, that's that's my guess as well. Big deck, big deck energy right here. It's absolutely, absolutely. I'm looking forward to putting them in my binder cards. Yeah, yeah. It's just a binder of Tarkaron memories at this point. Yeah, it it really is though. Just a I bundle of Tarkaron memories. Gift cards in here. What? I hope there's GameStop gift cards in here. I hope there's GameStop gift cards too. Oh yeah, I should open this. Here we uh, go. Oh, here it is. Okay, so there's the Amore deck, the Liberdicio deck, the Shrek deck, and the bonus deck. Nice. Welcome to bonus deck. And then Shrek Parkrun Edition Shrek 2 deck. complete set list. This is legit. It is. Oh well, yeah, it is legit. We didn't get, um, what's her name from In the Heights? That's yeah, bad. what happened? What happened? Yeah, Rob, what happened? What's going on? Rob Queen. Come on, Bill. <laughs> Queen. <laughs> you you didn't give us uh the the thing that I discovered this year that mm-hmm. I like. What's liked her freaking a lot. name again? Like, Vanessa? I, I know. Vanessa. Yeah. <laughs> Where they're with the those fishnets. So i I mean, fishnets are great, don't get me wrong, but I didn't realize that like fishnets that you could like see because of the leggings that she I, I didn't realize that, that was a thing that I'd liked until I, just like I Vanessa. saw that. I mean I yeah. She's just she's She's beautiful. Anyone can see that. Any idiot can see <laughs> That's that. Rough. Any idiot can see that. This is awesome. This is great stuff, man. Got all these, got all these decks. Mm. Moray, the Verdicio. The bonus. So deck. That's cool because last time it was uh, 
the Zach deck or the Alec deck, right? So now it's our, our tribe, based on our tribes, basically. Mm. But I wonder oh, how... Yeah, I was going to say, I've got Tharja. There she is. Yeah, I was going to wonder if can... specific stuff for us. So you, I got, have, uh... you have you have Dua Lipa. God bless. In- interestingly enough, you have Grease. Or Grit. Oh, Grit. okay. I guess some stuff just worked out that way. Yeah, some stuff just worked out better for balancing, you know? So it's just going to happen. You got both Luca Baguros. I did. Yeah, because you're like, screw that movie. Did you have like, all the Lucas? Or... <laughs> yeah, I did Luca Luca. Um, it might be in I'd... the bonus deck for the other ones. Yeah, the bonus deck might be the uh, bonus <clears throat> deck. Like the, um, the, oh, shoot. The, what's the other thing in there? Well, Mass- Massimo. Um, Where are you at? Where are you at, Massimo? Some of them might you have be a, spell you cards, have a, too. You have Luca Brasi in your uh, spell cards, by the way. Absolutely. Absolutely, you do. And I got my asses hanging out. And yeah, a palpable sense of lawlessness and danger. <laughs> a palpable sense. <laughs> This is this is fantastic. All right. Uh, Thank you cool. very much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Uh, I appreciate the the all the time and effort that goes in. That's clearly going into making these. Yeah, um, that's awesome. And it's really, we, we, it's a beautiful we, thing to be able to look back on it in this way. You know? Yeah, we now have like physical representations of our time. Uh, you know, we both like collecting. To a degree, and mm-hmm. it's it's cool to have our like memories are like co- now in you know, like a collectible. That's kind of kind of crazy to think about, actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, wow, that's 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 great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, I thanks thanks for all of you who hung in for the long haul. Also, uh, this is a long video. I don't know what time is it. It's almost midnight. We started. I don't remember when we started. When did we start? Like nine nine thirty. It's uh the recording is a little, is two hours now, so yeah. So one of our longest videos, totally yeah. worth it. Just even just remembering everything, laughing about the cards, um, fantastic, yeah. fan, freaking fantastic. Oh, and here's here's my other here's my other ones from the from the boosters and my fall guy tokens and uh, Raylo. Mm-hmm. Uh, we get a. We gotta use these. We gotta gotta figure out a way to. I know. To to use this at some point, I don't know. That could be kind of fun. And actually, battle with all of our our Tarkon. I don't know how to. I don't, I don't. know how to play Yu Gi Oh. So maybe that could be. Maybe that. Maybe that. Hey, maybe maybe I can get my friend Doves. Maybe he can come on and teach us how to play Yu Gi Oh. Mm-hmm. That could be an episode. I used to play. I used to play Yu Gi Oh. Uh, I get I've the, never I got the it. gist of it, but. I, I know the trade. I know Pokemon trading card game. I know that. I think I can play that pretty mm-hmm. well, but. This is good. What's your favorite card? This in this My second edition. Card. That's tough. Um, Aside for um, Fergus Farkle and Felicia. I mean, yeah, I think that's everyone's favorite. Um, well, we're boycotting Spider-Man. Definitely got the biggest laugh. I think no. What was the one that actually? No, the one that got the biggest laugh. I think was the one that was uh, Dear Evan Hansen. I think for me. Dear Evan Hansen. <laughs> I like um, the cards that are my... very clever with how they're yeah, like the WoW card where yeah. it's like face up. Yeah, the cards face are up, face up. Stuff, yeah, yeah. Not over easy. Um, you've got to have uh, I mean, P door. Just having P door on a card, you know. Mm-hmm. Powerful um, sense of lawlessness and danger. I think I I really like the the sort of like I guess our foils or our art cards, full art cards. I love mm. all those. Those are amazing. Mm-hmm. Um. Sexiest card award. I I liked. Uh, I'm just trying to see here. What's what was my favorite card? Well, I like Tiny Tinias a lot. I think we both were both like really mm, impressed yeah. by that one. That's the sexiest card award. Mm. That was a really great card. Um, Vanessa. But I liked how the I liked how the um, she did show up on that card though. I think in that the night the on the blackout oh yeah but she um, blacked out bro yeah yeah you can barely see her uh, but i did like yeah i liked how like mechanics tied into like stuff specifically especially with like that simon cowell one the details on that was really interesting <laughs> um 
Uh, accidental axe murder too. The custom. oh yeah, the one oh. yeah that was amazing. I, oh, so Tharja is also uh, that's also a special mention for that <laughs> card as well. This representing rock, representing the figure collection and then you know in the in the best way possible because she's a she's a keeper. Yeah. The Shrek deck for the biggest undertaking of the channel Shrek deck was has ever seen. Awesome. What a great what a great concept. It's inspiring. We gotta we gotta I gotta go back and watch that to figure out like what the hell. <laughs> you got we Shrek and Shrek and Shrek. <laughs> Three Princess Funas. Well thank you for watching, Zach. What 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 well for what were your favorite cards? I think we just were just naming it. Yeah, we're just naming them off. <laughs> my favorite what? my favorite might be wow just because that's oh, clever <laughs> this when no. when the cards are face up wow that's crazy. No, face up yeah wow my ass is hanging out my ass is hanging <laughs> out man <laughs> um very cool uh, very cool thank you for watching really what cool. video would yeah. you recommend her viewers watch after this uh, you should go take a nap. <laughs> like, honestly, just go take a nap. They're you know, roaring relax, to watch more. If you're you roaring to watch more. more, if you want to watch more, go check out our Box Art Battles 5 with Rusty. <clears throat> go check it out. We, you get just a, a huge, massive amount of Shrek content. And uh, yeah, mm-hmm. it was a lot of fun hanging with our hanging with our man, our boy, our bro, Rusty, who hopefully we'll have on again soon. Well, we are going to have on again soon because we have a gift exchange coming up with him we'll and Ryan. Never have him on again, ever. Uh, never, never again. Nope. So how many cards are all in all? So it looks like there's 160 on the Sarkron cards, and then Shrek has its own list up to 49. 49. So yeah, but then little, there's there's 49, but then there's duplicates. So a little over 200 though. 25 alpha, 25 beta. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Eight alpha, eight beta, because the the so we're live two, action. Two hundred yeah. something cards in here. Last time it was like a hundred and four cards yeah. or something. Was, yeah, no, this is double the length, double the double the action. Double the fun. Double was the anything fun. in Shrek not represented that needed to be represented here? Was <laughs> it ever missing? I would have put you with Smash Mouth. Smash Mouth. Some. Somebody yeah. once told me the world is gonna roll Shrek. me. Yeah, I can't think of any characters that were left out. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it'll probably come in and be like, no, this character was should have been in it. And we're like, oh yeah, I guess you're right. But I don't think anyone will. We even had the freaking, we had the freaking Pied Piper in there, you know? It's like, we're really, we had Cookie. Cookie. Cookie was in there, you know? So. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. All That's right. it. Yeah. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to our podcast feed. Like the video. Leave a comment. Hit the notification bell. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And like us on Facebook. Tarkaron T W O. All right. All right.